me, me. We don't know words to actual yeah. songs. We no, just like I have do. a feeling. But I can't sing. No, it. she doesn't. Words are overrated. <laughs> you actually Baby, probably know every word to. Uh, Post Malone is her it's only boyfriend, me. and now it's gone so we far that she is turning. Can you into imagine? Him. For the audio show, everyone, please tune into YouTube because you <laughs> need to at least take a screenshot Can and you send it around. If I looked like this when I met him. God. You know what I mean? I don't know if I think he would love it. I think he, I mean I think he's a silly little goose and he would love it. Listen, I don't want to steal him away from my his girlfriend with my normal everyday look. So I'll just do Well, this. you speak English so you can't. But <laughs> <laughs> she is just like Post Malone Tiffany and we have an amazing awesome friend of the pod, yes. regular on the Drinking Bros. Gat? Gat? What are we That's what I call you. What do Gat, you Gat? Absolutely. Do you go, like my real name is Gracie Ann Terrell. I'm not a Gracie Ann. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I can't see. Oh my gosh, yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you that. said it, I was like, You're like, ew. Because I know your name's Gracie, but like, I just never felt, I have you in my phone, Ross has you in the phone as Gat, you're on everything as Gat, Gat, Gat Media. Yeah. It just Wait, works. Wait, so Gracie or Grace? Gracie. Oh, yeah. that's your birth name. People like actually think, and it's E-Y. And so okay. it throws oh, everyone off. I. I was like, mom, way to be original. Whoa. She was like, not, at least she didn't add like a bunch of Y's and X's to my name. Sure, so that was sure. really nice of her. But other than that, like I had a speech impediment growing up, so I couldn't say R S L T nailed it today. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. And my name was crazy Terrell. Like I was like, and it's, it's like just all not the a, ones that you need in there. Yeah. That's yeah messed up, absolutely. Mom. I was like, that's not cool. So my dad uh, started a savings account for me one day, like wrote a $50 check to Gat. And my mom's like, who the fuck is Gat? Yeah. Like, who are you writing? Like 80 bucks in the eighties is a, or 50 bucks in the eighties is a lot. So yeah, yeah, it was a questionable thing, but it just kind of stuck. And that's, I love that though. I Thank like you. Easy. It is. It I is. I had a cool fucking nickname. You have like but, 20 nicknames. James, Jables, J girl. I know, but it was not what I chose. Like that would not be. <laughs> what would yeah, you choose? I, you don't fucking choose fucking Jaybird, Blue Dog. Like, no, something. you don't. Choose. <laughs> Here's the thing: anyone who chooses nicknames is like sucks. They suck. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of you, can't do you it. make fun of them, right? Mm -hmm. It's all of a sudden like you really chose your own nickname. Like I knew a guy who nicknamed himself Cujo. No joke. Like the movie about the dog. And then he got a tattoo of Cujo on his arm, but it was the wrong dog. <laughs> and everyone was like, you're a turn. You're dumb, what but that's what happened. Get? I don't know. A, a different dog like than the one in the Like he got Beethoven and not Cujo? Yeah, like, like something like that. Happy Beethoven. So, he got hooched. <laughs> and he did hooch. For he got Air Bud. Yeah. <laughs> so if someone gives you a nickname, I always find it was like one of the highest compliments, right? It's like, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Like you're cool enough to have it. Yeah. So when my coach gave me Tiffers and everyone stuck with Tiffers, Tiffers I was like, cool, good. we'll use it. That one's I like good. Tiff. I mean, Tiff's just very normal, but Gat's cool. Gat is cool. Like it seems like I, was, uh, I think yours is cool. I do. Jables. It is. I'd call you J Dub. Love it. Thanks. J Dub. That's J Dub. I, I shorten everything. My sister's name is Jordan. Like it's J Rod. Okay, we yeah. can start this. J Dub. That's what Look. I would go to. I mean, it came from her at least. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah wasn't see, like it wasn't like we didn't talk about this beforehand. Like, <laughs> yeah, can you please call down. me J Dub? Well, then... <laughs> I gave her a list of all the names that I would like. Can you even check your text messages? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like, bitch, you better call me J Dub. Shit, today I gotta on the delete podcast. that. I need to go destroy a phone real quick. And I put it in there, and I was like, just make it natural. Just kind of like throw it in yeah. there, like mm -hmm. you thought of it, just on the fly. Yeah. Yeah. We got to rebrand you. Perfect. Yeah. No big deal. Well, um, <laughs> that's we'll why pay she was, you for that's that. That's why she was brought here today, just for that. <laughs> just for See that. You I gotta go. Bye. It was great talking to you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we have you here because I just love. Well, first of all, I love you, but we love your um, your dating openness. Oh, God, yeah. How do we? How do I say it? You're yeah, very yeah. like, and you out there it. about dating and the mm -hmm. like crazy stories that happen. My favorite of yours is that the one time you were dressed as Guy Fieri. And you hooked Wait, up what? with this guy yeah. and you had to do the walk of shame. You're my soulmate. Yeah. Is it kind of related to this? She known? Have we brought up the fact that she's dressed like Post Malone? Or are oh, we yeah, just gonna like okay? Did. Yeah, I kind of did. I was yeah. like, if you're watching, you oh, need yeah. to watch the YouTube and just see the beautifulness that you yeah. spent time on. Today. Yeah, because it's not just braids. No. It's not. It's just not just braids. Braids. I put the tattoos on my face. It's a I mood. put the facial hair on. It's a whole mood. It is. I try to look like him. I'm kind of impressed how manly I look right now. Very you know, manly. And then the shade. It's like the Snapchat like, filter that turns you into a dude. Right? And you're like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, this, this so shades is. just make the it. Shades yeah. just. For me, if I, which I did on Friday's show because I was just so tired of wearing makeup and lashes. <laughs> and I just like, for the first time ever in public and on, not in public, but like on camera, yeah, that's like in public. During, no job, during my job, was like 
totally no makeup, like no foundation Good or for anything. You, though. And I like was looking in the monitor, just like, oh my fucking god! Is that my god. Thing? Why? Like, it's bad. I'm sure you looked great. Whatever. You just turn We're into a dude worst enemy. like immediately though. Like it's just very well. When you're so used to seeing yourself with eyelashes on every day, mm-hmm. you take off some of or those makeup. Like, very feminine features from yourself. We have a tendency to be like, oh, my God. Where a lot of our people are like, oh, my God, you yeah. look so beautiful. Like, you have some natural beauty. Guarantee that's what it was. I know, but no girl really has, like, a natural beauty. It's no, very, some do. And the ones that do, do that's their oh. The percentage is very, very low. <laughs> very you low. You see a girl that's, like, her hair is thick and it's not extensions. Uh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. It curls perfectly and, she's got and she never eyelashes. washes it. If her hair is, like, per- if her face is, like, perfect perfect tone of like this perfect olive like whatever her lashes are yeah that the percentage of that is less than i have a girlfriend like that leah i i love her and that's but how she do you love her no i do we <laughs> grew up <laughs> no do you? Oh, so i will tell you this like, she, we were right? neighbors in the yeah. same uh neighborhood and we end up being like carpool buddies right and she was the very quiet standoffish girl that kind of just had like the resting bitch face constantly in high school where a lot of people were very intimidated by her because she's fucking gorgeous too right and then when she got like once i got to know her from carpooling with her i was like this bitch is amazing yeah she was the one whose house i ran away to she was the how like yeah That's, yeah you have to have those like, friends you gotta have that friend yeah like she was that natural. girl i was always natural like olive eyes or not yeah olive, olive. eyes um, like very kind of like this very naturally tan, tan skin, that Mediterranean super thick look. Hair, Oof, I'm so jealous. Natural, Serious. natural cat eyes with Ugh. and without needing really any makeup. And the only one thing that she had on her, which actually made her more sexy, was a scar. Right? That's right badass. Here? Totally. That is and badass. a little, little cool. scar. Yeah. Just so that girls She's, will talk to you because if you don't have the scar, we're just gonna be like, Phew. yeah. It's from, I think it's from a cat or something. I forget what it was, but yeah, fucking stunning. And even to, and by the way, like very petite. No, like and when she did work out her muscles she would just gain it like that and keep it so i remember her putting up her hair in a ponytail when we were younger and her just having like muscles out to here and i was like bitch what do you do like yeah that's not fair you just exist and you that's, look amazing we, we were under the impression that very few of these people exist and now you just told us one that you but know you, well, and it's like, that's the i one. don't know oh, that's the only one that i, I don't know, know i have any. none yeah none yeah. yeah green-eyed goddess with tan skin and big that's, thick hair yeah, yeah. That's not, it doesn't, well, I'm also from Kansas City, so I don't know how many, like, people are I mean. really, I'm like. That's what I mean, from Missouri, so yeah. I was kind of like, but I'm on the opposite side, St. Louis. Uh, I know. It's, it's <laughs> okay, I'm glad you made it out, you know? Me too. Like, it's really, it's I'm really happy that you're I here. Did, yeah. I made it out, we made it out of St. Louis with a shank wound and two vehicles Shit. stolen. that's not bad. So that's yeah, not too, too that's bad. That's really not bad no, at all. No. Yeah, they're the leading, uh, I think, STD city in Missouri. So they've oh, held that wow. for, I think, eight years running. Oh, really? Very impressive. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. And I had no idea. It's well, it's just good something. I didn't have much sex there. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking you know? of which, Did we're you... going to get into your... Speaking of banging. Speaking of banging <laughs> and STDs, we're going to get into your... How many are you up to, well, Gat? you wrote this comment Zero. on one of our oh, videos. God. Oh, God. And oh, God. Uh, you were like... You said I could fill you guys up for hours about quarantine dating, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh I didn't my even god, know we'd love to hear it. some." Yeah. And she goes, "Yeah, <laughs> like how I caught my most recent ex doing grandma porn on Twitter." This is because a good one. times have gotten that tough, so I think we should start off with. We that. have to. Maybe. We'll start with that. Wait, wait. Before we, we start, actually, can we take a shot? We have to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to. Okay. Here, wait. Okay. It, you guys, it's. Cinco de oh. Mayo. Already, Here. I'm excited. Quattro yeah. day, and it's about time we just like get some Patron in our systems. You gotta go, God. Patron. And as you Absolutely. tell the story, I'm gonna. I'm glad you didn't have margaritas. like Kirkland tequila. You know? Oh my God, are, no! Listen, surprisingly not terrible. This is like course salt, but still, <laughs> I love it. It's, <laughs> it's like really? actual like. It's um, we're it. supposed to be licking our hands and like Sorry. this pose, but hey, hey, look, killing it. We oh, clearly it don't care about the no. about COVID because we're just all over the place. I I wash my hands. I'm a human. No, I'm just saying we don't care. We're oh. all hanging out. Oh, we're all yeah. so we we're clean about people. Six feet. Whatever. We're exactly. fine. Okay, cheers. Here's the Cinco de Mayo. Fuck yeah. Mm. Mm. It's a double gulp. I'm sorry if I made that shot very big. It was just one for me. It's a two for <laughs> But I was dating I mean I've that been dating, so uh So you've actually been here's the question, like let's hear it. We were talking well, about make so this really cute face real quick. The Fauci, Doctor Fauch, mm-hmm. cute little Fauch. I'm tired. He's of so his, adorable. I'm tired of his bullshit. But yeah, he's a little bit. <laughs> he needs to ease up so we can get back to right. going to a bars. But Agreed. anyway, the Fauch. What are we doing? Give me your cup. Margaritas for what? I'm making margarita. Oh, this is the best talking? podcast um, I've ever I have been on. Left I know it's fine. I'll put it in. 
Oh, what are you going to put? Oh, okay. I'm just willingly forcing this is the best. glass. I'm this like, is the best She's in charge. <laughs> Absolutely. If you're giving um, me tequila. Listen, I miss people. I miss drinking. Uh, this, is a, single this, is my seriously, this is incredible. Like, like, I, this is, I need this a, for my mental health right it's now. It's a mood. So true. Uh, so, so true. That's, um, I, I think I started dating again after I went through a breakup. And honestly, I didn't really care. And that was like probably a sign to me that probably should have been the relationship. So I started dating, got on Tinder in January. And this guy, I like, Tinder when I, was I mean, it. Tinder is just easy. If, you, if you're honest with your expectations yep. and you're not trying to, like, make something that it's not, and, like, you just tell people, hey, I'm not really looking for a relationship, we can hang out, but I'm not trying to, like, talk to you every day, send you good morning texts. Just be honest. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that you could want. Right. And I always told them when I was on it back in the day, like, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm looking to date just kind of casually. Have fun. And not be explicit. Like, do you guys, like, exclusive? Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> you're, it's been so I mean, long I that you do it. Like, I was very explicit. Um, do you guys like go to each other's houses? Do you hook up somewhere? Well, or are you just kind of talking like sexting? I, How are you in the quarantine actually like getting together? The quarantine no life. Oh, no, no judgment. I don't even care at this point. Like I have ways that I can find out if uh, people are up to my standards of where they live. And if I want to go over to their home, like sure. if I can tell someone has a nice house, I'm like, I'll post up there for a couple of days. Let's have an Airbnb you sesh, you know? Yeah, yeah it yeah. has never been a couple of days. It'll be overnight. Right. So I'm yeah. like, you can make me dinner in your beautiful mansion and I will sit there and smile and <laughs> yeah. think about everything that you, I don't care that you're talking about. Really how how you are dinner? you seeing yeah. where they're, how are you seeing what their house looks like? Um, Do they cause put I'm pictures? nosy and I'm okay. like, I like, I love HGTV. So yeah. I watch it shit all the time. Um, and so I look at details. Like most people look at like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <Yeah. laughs> J-Dub strong? is not handling this well. I think well. it's too strong. Guys, <laughs> everyone knows that J-Dub is not even like allowed to take shots. So here we go. <laughs> maybe J-Dub <laughs> is, but J-Bulls isn't. Should I have brought, you know? my, yeah, bottle? Maybe, yeah. Wait, I brought my bottle of Fireball? Oh my mm. gosh. I should have. A woman after my own Fireball. heart. Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, There's uh, ways of getting it. I mean, it's yeah. we do have ABC stores here. Yeah, I've noticed the liquor stores are open. The people oh, are still not like it's really distancing. Everyone's like half naked down this here. Is, oh, this yeah. No amazing. one's social distancing here. Yeah. So you, how do you find out their address? Do you oh, ask them? I don't like, really hey, find out their address, oh, okay. but like I will just notice things and like pictures they send me or like I'll initiate a conversation. But on Tinder, I have a fake name of Amanda and it says all it says in my bio is I'm a t- cashier at Target. And yes. I'm five nine because I don't want to date somebody shorter than me. Yeah. So that's yeah. where grandma porn guy was my height. So we go on one date. Exactly your height. Exactly my height. That's, not, that's like to me. Like, I know it sounds so petty, but to me, that's kind of like where I'm on the line. Like, yeah. But when five you're right nine. Height, like because how tall are you? Five nine. Oh, OK. And, and that's going to cut out like. Ooh, yeah. sadly a lot of guys and I'm like I have no problem with them being my height like I just don't want to date date somebody my height yeah. so I was like whatever this guy is nice but he was like obsessed with me from the get-go and he was very much into social media and very much like oh so you do this, oh, this so and this for a living and oh yeah and he's like you're like my dream oh my god and it was just like very overwhelming but I'm like I love attention whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we went can we to, all just admit though really quick yeah that that's almost a turnoff sometimes it is right when guys are like come on too strong and they're so yeah. obsessed with you from the very get go, from the very beginning, I want to wake no, up like, girl later actually on. Wants that. Like that, I mean, honestly, everyone does kind of like the chase. We don't want to fucking play games and be ghosted, right. but maybe, maybe make it a little bit so we have to work but for. But that's a why little. I always say like, that, like, yes, romantic comedies are never would never happen in real life because girls don't actually want guys to like stalk them like no. that. No, uh, do weird, creepy things when we're not really like connecting and like driving across the country to come see us we'll be like dude Ew. we weren't if we wanted to fucking see you we'd see you we'd right see you. i'd get my ass on a plane and i'd yeah. go somewhere but like if you're if i'm not making the effort on my end so i want to wake up every morning like what's up you dumb bitch do you wake up yet like stuff stuff like that just like right. hey punk ass i got that one the other day and i'm like hmm, i'm yeah. gonna respond to this one the other one was like good morning beautiful i'm like i'll text in the afternoon whatever <laughs> like i don't care but like you have to keep up like with that personality if you have any sort of like I don't know I don't want to say it's a public figure thing but in Kansas City it's a small town yeah so I already have Amanda I already have this weird vague profile and it's already in my mind kind of protecting me from people that would see oh Gracie like what are you going to do put gat on there like people are going to have any more questions right so this guy was all about it and he was just like obsessed he's like well I leave for Dallas tomorrow and I'm like oh no that's horrible whatever he's like but I don't know what to do with my puppy I'm like you have a puppy 
Right, and so he's really trying to pawn off shit on you. Oh, I was oh, all yeah. about it. I took the puppy for five I days. Wrong. I'll take like, a puppy all day long. I took, I dog sat that dog, and I had and only met him love. once, and I had hung out with his dog for five days. I'll be like, "Are you paying me? Did he pay you?" Oh my gosh, I love that. No, and it was worse because he would like forget his wallet when we were out doing things. Like this was right before quarantine, oh, and that to me is the God. biggest like what. And so Red then flag. he would tell me forget like, he, his wallet. He presented yeah, himself forget, like who forgets very, their fucking wallet. I don't know. I'd rather him have a fucking Velcro. Uh, uh, I would uh, rather just the, say I'm uh, broke 90s. right now this weekend. I can't go out and do anything. Or like I have kids and I have this and I have Can that. We do something, so, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like let's just do something. And I'll be like, hey, I'll pay for it. It's not a big deal. Like if exactly. you're in a relationship, which I was kind of forced into, he's like, so we're dating now. And I'm just like, okay. But like nobody believed me when I'm like, this is my, and I would be like, boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And my hairstylist saw me during then. She's like, so what do you like about him? And I'm like, Dog. The dog. <laughs> like, that's it. And so I mean we, there's a reason why they use that as bait. They do. Oh, f- and I'm for like, sure. I guarantee this guy got it just for that. Like you say it's for the kids, but like you're a single dad, like come on. So he was just like really like we didn't really hit it off that well. I, can see I was why. just like, you know, using him to hang out with a puppy, which is not ideal and I need to stop doing that. But no, I oh, you know. applaud you. For Thank that. you. Yeah. It's like I just like, you know, adorable little things yeah. and he just was too much. So we stopped talking. Um I kinda told him it's okay that you can't handle dating me. Not everybody can and then broke up with him. Um because he was correcting my outfits. He was telling me I can't wear my white Air Forces to his work meeting thing. And like I knew all of his coworkers and they had just been watching me on the news. So they're like, oh my God, that was a great story. And then he's all like fuming because I was more important than he was and they're like it was a really big ego thing. Oh my god, so, he sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah, why would you want to hang out with this like, guy again, right? Yeah. Like Egotistical, never ever ever. Insecure, Awful. controlling mm-hmm. already. And very much into social media, which is something that I like to have people in my life, like my personal life that are not on social media yeah. or that are not obsessed with it or don't care about like updating people where they are. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm single again. He starts texting me is like and anyone knows that you can lure me over anywhere with a giant thing of weed and a bunch of joints, like already pre well. I'm like, oh my God, I miss you. I didn't have his number saved, so I thought it was somebody else. Yeah. So I said, hi, I love you. When he said something about weed? Rookie oh, mistake. Yeah. Um, so like I said, it's like a typical like trap for me. I was like, oh man. And so he's like, yeah, we should get together soon. I'm like, yeah, sure. That'd be great. He's like, I've been really careful. Like I haven't been doing anything. Like I just, you know, I miss you. And I'm like, maybe this. And I'm like, I think I'm just, I don't think it's going to work out. So in the yeah. back of my mind, I knew it. So I get on Twitter um, last, I think it was like the night of the draft. And then the next morning I wake up and I get onto one of my podcast accounts, Broad Stakes. And I haven't really been doing any episodes or anything. So I needed to like update people like, hey, we're on this new network. And so I was logging in to say it. And I guess it still followed his like business account on Sprout States because like we immediately followed each other on every platform, which isn't weird at all. Um, And I see this video of like a phone like on on the ground with two people standing over it banging. And I'm like, what? naturally, I'm just curious, right? I'm I like, mean, I got to yeah. see what this we is. We all are. Like, if you see that, and then I, like, watch it. And, of course, my, like, critical ass is like, this is a horrible angle. It doesn't look good for either of them. Right. And then it stops, and this woman is, like, really fucking old. Like, we're talking, like, at least 60, 70-ish, looking down at the camera with this big grin. And then it flashes her, like, Twitter handle across the bottom. And I'm like, what? yo, what? And all this time, I still, like, wasn't putting two and two together until I watched it again I see these tattoos and then like this person like looks at the camera too because I wasn't paying attention to the guy and it's him and I'm like what so I go to her Twitter she has 30,000 Twitter followers and she's based in Kansas right so not exactly anonymous showing her face yeah getting banged by multiple dudes showing probably more than her face oh yeah yeah and and there's multiple videos of the two of them together like 60 or 70 I honestly oh yeah is it wrinkly it was just floppy like it just it was just really way too easy to open with lack of better (laughs) word i was was like it it was just way too much like was there like meat like um it was just it was very like she's overweight so it's like very like like not chunky but it's like fat like yeah 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 gross I ways to describe curious. somebody's genitals but sure. it got it's older. thick I don't know yeah. just, and so Plump. it's just it wasn't like hanging down or like gross or anything it was just like you could tell she was older and then they're both wearing their clothes and then he turned they both turn around and look at the camera and he's like getting dressed and the worst part of it you pan up and there's like this turn it shows 
him wearing these god awful sandals, her orthopedic shoes in the back that he clearly fucked her out of, and the fucking puppy was watching under the dining room table. The and puppy that you like. The puppy that Aww, I love poor was puppy. in the background, <laughs> for life. like sitting under the dining room table as it panned out. And of course, I'm like slowed it down to see this because I'm yeah. nosy, and I'm like, "There's the fucking dog." And so it's just horrible. And so I text him, and it's like eight o'clock in the morning, and I go, "Yo, just saw your sex tape on Twitter. It looks like times got rough, homie." Yeah. Within three minutes, he had deleted his entire Twitter account. He had blocked Did me. Did he not mean to put that on Twitter? Yeah, he the- liked it. And so it just popped up. So I don't think he realized when you he like things on Twitter, Twitter, it'll be like people have highlight reels, right? So if you log back in after being gone for eight hours, it'll say people that you follow liked this or like so-and-so said this, like what you missed while you were gone. And it just popped up. Did he so, not realize that this bitch was going to be posting it or something? I think he did because there was like four or five videos of them together. And then her husband has another account where he was posting. Oh, she's married. Yeah. Other videos of him like watching it. And oh. I'm just like, it got to this weird point. So I immediately tweeted out, good morning to everyone except for me for seeing my most recent ex fucking a grandma on the timeline. And then I went back to sleep. And so I like woke back up and everyone's like, yo, What? And I was yeah. just like, huh, oh shit. Funny like, story. Yeah. I didn't mean to say that, but now that we're here, and so I like tagged her, not, I didn't tag it, but I took a screenshot of her Twitter account and posted, I'm like, yeah, she blocked me, but it all happened within five minutes. So he must have like woken up. I can't imagine waking up to like my ex, but one, I don't do grandma porn or grandpa porn. So this is a good way to avoid waking so up like that. So he paid for this? No, he was just doing it because he's like an attention whore and so that he must have gotten some i don't I, you know what i hope for his sake he did he you're got right. that's embarrassing you're, right. like, you're absolutely I hope right he like, got you would hope something. So. something drugs like dog sitting besides I mean, something, dog right? sitting maybe like a nice like story Free before dog bedtime some and like some more milk i don't know other, from, a fucking, gra- yeah, from yeah. a fucking grandma like, other than he's just into it oh yeah and so the only other explanation mommy issues are the most prevalent thing that i found with dating really and it's intense um, we don't know the inability to they just don't really like have their own like sense of self and they're very like tied to what their parents do like around 30s right but if i go older then they're like oh yeah my daughter's your age i'm like great that's the that that was the biggest issue yeah then i felt like was either finding a guy who had major issues or finding a great guy who had kids which mm-hmm. at the time I didn't want to deal with. And then right. I got married someone who had one. You know what I mean? So it yeah. was like, it was one of those things where it was kind of like a give or take. Exactly. Like, okay, which is worse? And what, what are you going to do when you're meeting people off the internet, right? So yeah. it's like, I deleted Tinder. He w- immediately was like, you should delete Tinder. So I did. And then I get back on there. So it's like round you two mean of when Amanda. when you first start dating yeah. and then they ask you to I delete it? I cut off it? all my hoes. I yep. was so mad at myself they, for it. I, like, when it a guy was so asks you to do that is when I'm like, you know, I don't know if this is going to work. Because traditionally, for me, at least back in the day, when a guy would ask me to do that, they never did it. They personally never did it, but they expected me to do it, Mm -hmm. right? So if a guy would ask me to do that, when we weren't even really that exclusive yet and haven't been talking that long, I felt like immediately I was starting to get controlled. And I was like, I don't really like this and the way it's going. So I'd be like, you know what? I don't really know if this is going to work, right? Yeah. But if eventually we were like, hey, you and I are doing really good right now. We're going to be pretty exclusive. I think we're like boyfriend, girlfriend. You officially kind of asked me. Then I would willingly get off it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kind of expect him to do the same thing. And it, traditionally, that was like a conversation that happened. Like, hey, by the way, I deleted my Tinder. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Me too. Yeah. Right? The minute you get someone like kind of asking you a little bit in the very beginning, it's like, ooh, but why? Yeah. You know? And I think it's What's one of those things like when people accuse you of cheating, they're probably cheating themselves and like that kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's very along that, yeah. that line. So like when you go from meeting people in a normal way, which is what I usually do, I have not had to turn to Tinder for a very long time because I'm out all the time and I'm like working and bars during the middle of the day and then I'll go home and then I'll get, you know, my actual life done. But it's just like to have somebody that was so willing to just be there and be like exclusive and yeah. my boyfriend and like want to be a part of my life I'm like Ugh. and I don't want to wake up next to somebody every day because I have other things I want to do like I cuddle with my laptop and like my vape pen are in my bed and that's mm-hmm. it. probably going to explode at one point like if I ever you know tragic weird death <laughs> of my, my room catches on fire we know right. why but um 
that's just always been my thing. And so like people like know my brand of basically having eight boyfriends and doing whatever the fuck I want. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. And it's like, it's that's something I mean, that as long as you're happy. Yeah. I'll settle down when probably like I'm 50 or so. And I'm like ready to just chill and not be all over the place. But it's like, most people can't keep up with that kind of, um, if I'm out or like I have 20 guys that work with me and that's it. Like I have no female employees at all now. And that's intimidating too for a I've lot of people that for me. Mm-hmm. Cause every guy that knows my job and knows what I do and that I work with all men, mm-hmm. like it was really hard to date civilians rather yeah. than military. Cause military guys for the most part would understand unless they were like just normal military guys who'd had just a basic job and they were still intimidated by it. Right. But there was a lot of times where guys would be like, wait, you do what? And with who? Oh, I don't know about that because either they thought my job was a little too intense for them or they just weren't going to handle the fact that I work with all men yeah. and they didn't want to ha- like deal with it. It's intimidating for a lot of guys to walk into a situation where they're not the most important person in the room. And mm-hmm. when they're with me, I'm not the most important person, but you have to act right. And if you are a liability, well, you gotta act like you yeah. are like, right? Ooh, these guys, like I've taken guys very way too soon to events and they just get stupid drunk or they mouth off or they're intimidated or they like, we it's, need to go. Yeah. It's a lot easier for a guy to fuck up a business opportunity for you than it is for you to fuck it up for the guy. Right. right? So exactly. Like, you bring a boyfriend. Yeah. They'll say something. They'll fuck with like, you usually are to working like with alpha. guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is with that? And I'm like, I think that true alpha guys people make are just a like an undercut comment and, mm-hmm. and, and then you have to like apologize for him later on. Oh yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Multiple times. And, and then the people that you're trying to work with see you as like an issue because yeah. they're like oh, okay well if her boyfriend's gonna be coming around fucking talking shit to us then no thank it's you, not right? worth it yeah, yeah there's other people that will be so much better at your job so when i'm trying to like do all these things to get my foot in the door this is way before my espn stuff i was like you guys can't show up at twin peaks when i'm on a radio remote and just act up like yeah. that's yeah. ridiculous yeah. like i'm at twin peaks first of all like a bunch of chicks around there nobody's looking at me that's chill. what i mean like they're hot, a bunch of hot chicks How yeah shut the fuck up drink and look at some tits yeah like, like you know i, mean? I have enough yeah. self-discipline if i am in a relationship <laughs> where i shouldn't be sleeping with other people i don't it's yeah. crazy yeah um but i don't want to be in that because people just get their feelings hurt it gets way too and it's like the direction of it i like to have like a beginning and an end of things but other than that i don't really care like if i know i'm gonna see you again I don't worry about it. If I don't know, that's the thing that I keep running into is that guys want to have that fake intimacy where they want to tell you their life story and like, you know, everything about you. Then they have sex with you. And the next thing you know, Oh, Hey, and they're like everything distances and Dude, all things. I'm know. like, just be honest with people. I don't know what it is, but the minute that you've like, just even think back in the day when you put a, a title on your relationship, right? The minute that was like, Hey, we're, I guess, we're exclusive, we're mm-hmm. your boyfriend, girlfriend, things change or even marriage a little bit. It was like, like, why is that? Do you, I like, don't you know, know what I mean? Like to me, I was still questioning it to this day. Like, why do people get weird? Why do things change? Why does it seem like now it's like, oh my God. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's because we feel like we're stuck. We feel like we're trapped. We're in this box now. Whereas before we felt like we had more freedom, even right. though we, like we're committed to them. Yeah. So I've a, noticed that though. Mm-hmm. People feel like they're almost like caged animals. And so it's really hard to long just to get out and do something stupid to get out. Oh, of Oh, and you can't blame them for it. Like I feel the same way. Like here I am in North Carolina. Like I'm clearly like needing to get out of my own little bubble, but there's ways to do it without hurting people's feelings and just being honest. Like, Hey, I'm going to be doing this and this, and I'm going to be going soon. And I'm going to be doing this. So like, if you can fit into that and you can make me dinner every once in a while and you know, I'll stay in your really comfortable bed and you know, yeah. you make me breakfast and I'm gone. Yeah. And that's the extent of a relationship that I need right now. But a lot of people get intimidated by that they're like well you're clearly or with they like, don't communicate it yes and so when they don't communicate that's what i think stifles any relationship doesn't matter if it's brand new or if it's been like five years if you don't fucking communicate what, what are you gonna do like i think that's the hardest part with today's society a little bit is the whole communication thing and, and mm-hmm. trying to explain like hey this is this is what i want from you yeah and you guys you have know? touched on it before with like ending text messages and like how do you stop like because on instagram or i'll be talking to somebody on instagram twitter and then also snapchat and then we'll be sending each other texts whatever and it's like that's too much but those are my girlfriends you can yeah. do that to girlfriends yeah you do that to a guy they're like jesus christ are you right. okay yeah no and they don't the communication with guy. we just communicate differently right so like you us three can sit around and talk about literally the color of this cup and like yes. what it means to like if we kind of like it looks good on our like lips sometimes but mm-hmm. like sometimes on our, and we can like talk about that for hours and how it makes like you feel guy, and like yes. ways that you would wear it and like if we the second like the first sentence of that a guy is like fucking done right Correct. so just our communication styles and oh 
So it's how are we, I've said this on another show too, is like the model of guys and girls together I don't know who came up with it. That's why. I mean, yeah. We, no, we talk about it. Like, it's we're so not confusing. opposites. It's not the no. best situation. No. Like, that's what we want, right? I feel but so stupid. But lesbians have it figured out. That's what I mean. Even the other day, when my husband and I were sitting at the table, and I'm talking to him about stuff. Like, he was such in a good mood. Like, we're on his bike. Like, boop, 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 boop. I'd, like, start talking to him, and it's, like, a fucking Shut wall down. up. He shuts down. Seems Ross bored. Grab his phone. Seems yep. annoyed as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah, cool, yeah, babe. And then after, I'm, like, I sit there... And I'm confused, right? I'm feeling kind of hurt. I'm feeling kind of unheard. I don't know what's going on. So I just communicate to him like, hey, like I'm just letting you know, like I, I felt like you went from very happy to very sad and I was just talking about stuff. And he's like, well, I wasn't, you know, it doesn't have anything to pertain to me. And I was like, yeah. Was, yeah, but it's me and we're like, but we're, we're kind of right? in this but together. Even that, even that conversation, like I had that fight with the husband this weekend. That's too, what I'm where I was like trying to it's talk so about how he made me feel. And it was too exhausting. Yeah. I cannot. I mean, even this. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So, I know. But with the girl. Did you try to do like, it like when the MJ documentary was on? Because I don't blame him at that point. No. No. And okay. I would never. And I'm you, super You were not just going to stand over him like, excuse me. See, and I get that, right? But it was like, <laughs> no, it was full like, on like we were just hanging out. Yeah. It was like sitting on the couch. There's yep. nothing on. Like, I really do time it where it's mm-hmm. like, hey, we're like having a That's glass of wine. That's why I do wine, it at dinner. Like talking. We're at dinner. You're captive and you just get the glass audience, wall. And then yeah. it's just yeah. like. Any communication more than what they need to convey what they want at that very moment is too much. Well, I, I got the excuse, dude. I got the excuse. Well, one one part you want me to not say anything and just listen to you, but another part you don't want my advice. I'm like, okay. Like, I, if I'm telling you a story, I don't need your advice, right? Because I'm just yeah. telling you a story, but maybe right. you could seem interested in it instead of saying nothing, right? You could just... Pretend. So like he 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 then like would turn it against me and be like, well, I feel like I can't do anything right because like one minute I'm quiet and yep. you're mad at me, but the next minute I'm like giving you my advice and you don't want it. It's like so what we're saying is you're doing it right. <laughs> you and are doing it. I don't. It, I, and I don't we're know. We're doing it wrong. Are we all just doing it wrong though? Because like you said, are we really matched Dude, up with guys? Some and, uh, days does that really? I, I always, feel like more of my soulmates are my girlfriends. Than, me too, and that's what I'm saying. There's some days where I'm like. Did I, did I did I miss the opportunity? Like, because like, I've had women in encounters before, so I'm like, women encounters, yes. Like, did I? Like, <laughs> I'm fat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> women when, encounters. Wait, by the way, we're all in relationships, like with men. Yeah, but it's still like one of those things where I'm like, it maybe you could have worked out. Yeah. Like, now know. when and I told her when she has kids, you will know. Like when your mom comes into town or when a, another girl, either like my nanny is helping me yeah. take mm-hmm. care of the kids. It's two girls that are like. Two women, females, whatever, are so in tune with like what the kid needs, what you need. You sit down. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the dishes. Now I'll take the kid. You go take a shower. Blah blah. And it's just like and your periods all like sync up, and you're just like, like Chick Fil A fucking drive yo. through. It's just like so perfect. Clockwork. And then yeah. when it's just you and the guy, it's a fucking night. Like, can you listen to me? Do you know what I said five seconds ago? Did you? Can you yeah. change the diaper? But like, I don't even know. As like, a uh, yeah, so, and it just stalls out, and you're like, okay. Yeah. And in theory, I should be a lesbian. Yeah, so in theory, I should, my, I should too. So, yeah. I love, I love renovating and fixing things. And like, oh, I dude. was Captain save a with dating for a I long love. time. But like, <laughs> also my house. Uh, but it runs in the family. Like, my dad also, I haven't had like, and I never blame that side. But like, my dad has like four girlfriends and just kind of like does his thing. And oh. he's still single and he does whatever the fuck he wants. And he's happy as shit. Mine too. Do you feel like you kind of take after your dad? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, my mom and I are the exact same. And like, I've oh. forced my mom to FaceTime with Jesse before. Um, and my she's mom's like, she's, she's cool. just 420. She kept me up to 430 in the fucking morning screaming coronavirus because she <laughs> watched the Cardi B thing. Like most oh, people I think I would love your mom. Most people love my parents more than they like me. They're like, yeah, you're cool. But like these old fuckers. And I they tell them party. all the time, I'm like, I'm putting in a fucking home, both of you. And they're divorced. But my mom's remarried. So she's living her best life. She didn't date till she was in her 50s. Again, she raised me. Good for her, though. Solo, single mom. Uh, I we were born in very much privileged area of like Johnson County, Kansas, which is so sheltered. And all the other moms are very like, yeah, I mean, people get it. It's like the very stereotypical I'm housewife. Very sheltered. Yeah. yeah, growing yeah up but in it's, it's very nice to like have those people, too, because I'm like, if I put effort into life, I could look like that, too. All yeah. right. Good to know. Yeah. But there I, I admire every single woman that goes out there and does their workout routines and like manages all, everything that they do and like really controls their image like that and keeps the trophy wife look up. Right. And so my mom just didn't care. She wanted 
wanted to work. She was an executive at Sprint for a long time. Uh, my dad has been self-employed for 25 years. So they're used to me just being like doing whatever the fuck I want. And so I did yeah. a pod- podcast with my astrologer because I have one of those too. Uh, and it was awesome. about all the signs I've had sex with, which is all of them. Good news. Um, and oh, we talked I'm- shit about our sex lives. And it was, yeah. but like my mom was like, Really, What's the best really sex sign. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, well, man. I think it depends on what your sign is versus their yeah, sign. Yeah, you have to oh, have the compatibility. Oh, oh. And so, like, I know you're Pisces. Yeah. Where are you? Libra. But Libra. I'm like, right on the cusp. Yeah. Though, so, I'm like, birth. Libra Scorpio. You have to, like, have your, like, entire birth chart and, like, time, or you have to read all that because it really is well, more than just, like, your main what's thing. April? What's April? A- April is uh, Aries and Taurus. So, so the beginning it depends. of April. Beginning of April is Aries. Aries. So, I've married two Aries. I'm an Aries. Are you? Yeah, but like I have so much Pisces energy, so I feel like that's why like Justin and I. But she thought I was a Taurus. She's like, I could see that. I'm like, see, I yeah. don't know shit about any of this stuff. Well, and it's yeah. like the Cosmo shit that you read back in the day, like in the back of the magazines. That's become more mainstream because we're a very vapid society. We want to know more about why we're unique and special. So if it's a star chart that tells us where the planets were at the time that we were born, that tells us more about who we are as people. I just find it fascinating. Yeah. What's um, December? December, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. I'm about to look, look these things up. Oh, you know I can I mean? help you like, with that. You, Whatever. Like, you think yeah. back in the day and you're like, wait, this guy was actually really good. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and, and like I. my whole thing, like <laughs> as an Aries, I need people like I like the start of everything, which is so true. Like if you see like my renovation projects, they would all be all started, but then never finished. They would be gradually. I'd have to pay somebody to do it. It's Chris and Aries. Mm-hmm. Is that something that he does too? Just starts yeah. things. And then, like, you're just like, but, great, can you finish this? Or, like, they're very, very childlike. That's how my dad um, is. They're very, He's like, very juvenile, sick. but they're angry as fuck. Like, I get scream-worthy angry like that. And it, you would never suspect it because I'm just, like, so right. nice and, like, hey, guys. But I'm grouchy, too. But, yeah. but yeah, so, like, we did that whole podcast, and mine was Gemini. Gemini dick is, like, the most toxic yet amazing thing I've For ever you? had in my life. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a guy that I've What's been. Gemini? What month Gemini is Gemini is, like, uh, end of May and June and mid-June. So like just okay. summer babies. Summer babies are all over the place. Like okay. yeah, yeah. And then there's like cancers right after that, and they're really like emotional and weird. And I've dated cancers too, but Gemini is always like number one forever. So this guy and I like we just can't be around each other. Like they were both in the same social circles, but like it's weird because like I know his kid and like we're the same age, and it's just like oh god, this is weird. And like him and I would like the son and I would hang out. And then he's just like, yeah, do you, you talked to so-and-so the other day? I was like, yeah, we did. And then all of a sudden we're making out like a, in a closet somewhere yeah. and that kind of like energy. That's what I want though. I want my life to continue to be like a weird, like choose your own adventure. Yeah. Like if I go out, like, like I get those bored. those fucking books, dude, yeah. where you get to the end and you get to pick which one you yeah. want. You do I go make on. out in a closet yeah. or do I just keep staying, like talking to people and yeah. socializing? Like, so it's fun like that, but like it keeps things interesting. Um, but then Mine's that's Leo, I think. Leo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Leo. So I have like any guy that's like you shouldn't be with absolutely but it just always will be drawn yeah Yeah. is that yeah and then gemini was very good like that too kind of see i know any of these enough in bed though really i i don't i would have to like like, go back and figure out what when they do and they're all over the place yeah like, do you ever, did you ever hook up with a guy that's like, wants to do like doggy style for two seconds and then, then turn and then turn and then on top. And there's like nothing that yeah. really is like happens for long like enough time. Like it's not time. working for No, because I would make them. You would make <laughs> do them. Do what I want. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't let that happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I was mainly the one that was like, oh, bitch, no, we're not moving. No, but yeah, that's yeah. the energy yeah. you need to have. Like, it's not going to be bad sex because I'm involved. It'll be good. Yeah. Right. So like you have to have that kind of, but like guys that are drawn to that are either they have mommy issues or they're like actually tough and can handle it. But it's just like, right. you need somebody to like keep you in place every once in a while, like keep you in check. But I just haven't found that perfect. Like you have mesh. to have that balance. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel too. Is it's the type where it's like, listen, you know, I'm an alpha and there's, you are going to be an alpha too, but we can't, if we're both alphas, we're button heads nonstop. So there has to be, kind of like you just let me do my thing but you kind of control it behind the scenes without me seeing yes. it like i remember when i first met my husband he was like when he looked up personalities right like you have alpha and beta and apparently there's one that's a zeta oh like the z type or something and he's like apparently that's me where i am the he's like i'm an alpha but instead of us butting heads realizing that you like to take charge and you like to do things and whatever else He's like, I just let you do it and kind of let you think. And I was like, you should have told me that. That's smart, though. That's (laughs) a smart smart guy. Absolutely. 
was a slash. Slash. I mean, I guess there's a point though where because here's the thing is I as much as I find alpha males very attractive, mm-hmm. we do not really get along that much because we are constantly butting heads. Whereas betas for me, I'm like, there's no fucking way. No yeah. way. No yeah. way. Like, no way. I will walk all over you. You need yes. to have a fucking backbone. So there has to be like a happy medium, mm-hmm. right? There, there so, has to be. You know, I guess that kind of works with astrology science too. It does. And like the Leo thing, it's funny because like the one quarantine date I went on, uh, this guy accidentally super likes me on Tinder. Where it like pops up a different color. And you're like, oh, if I'm they like, super like yeah, you? Yeah, like, it's kind of like, no, it's, like it's weird. That's it's like this blue star. And I was like, oh, okay. So this guy super liked me. And he's like bearded, weird. Uh, uh, doesn't talk a lot and has tattoos all over oh, him. Oh, that sounds, Ooh, like, that sounds yeah. like my type. So, uh, <laughs> you guys have the same type. We do. Um, so I'm like, oh, you don't want to ever talk to me after two weeks and you might be risky because you could be a drug dealer. I'm <laughs> so into it. it. Let's go driving around Kansas City. And so he picks me up in his Range Rover and I'm like, nah, okay. Um, and then like an hour into it, I'm just sitting there smoking and like laughing and entertaining myself. And uh, an hour later, we're like up North Casey get pulled over for going 79 and a 55 and he got a $300 ticket and we hung out oh like after that like a couple times and then I was just like well good luck with everything and he's and like ticket. it was just like he's like yeah that was the most expensive first date I was like that's it $300 that's your most expensive exactly. first date so that's when my like brain shut down I'm like mm. and it's yeah. not like you have to whine and dine me like that but like I hate cheap people like that operate emotionally like poverty or like even just the mentality of like no I need to save everything I hate the hoarding kind of thing yeah, yeah. so I'm like if I have 100 bucks and that's all I have I'll spend 85 of it doing whatever the fuck I want and figure out the rest the next day well the first date and just the first interaction is a, is a prelude to what's going to happen right so yes. when I lived in California and guys didn't even want to drive 35 minutes to go on a date with me and like I get it don't get me wrong like I didn't live in the best town because I was near an air force base but right. still like they didn't want to drive 45 minutes to even meet that's me that's ridiculous halfway Mm-mm. to me I was like well what the fuck is the point yeah like, you're not even willing to put in the effort now so what makes me think you're gonna put in the effort later on so yeah. a lot of times I was like no I'm good yeah, like, and finding not- love versus finding a place to like just hook up for a little bit Correct. that's totally different things so like but if you're looking for somebody like that is tinder the right place i don't know i tried hinge um i was gonna say i was gonna ask which ones you tried you've tried bumble no i don't like talking to people first move that's the okay, one thing that and, like, is like very yeah. reverse yeah and i'm just like nah like they're gonna have to say something to me so occasionally i'll say things first um but like with a super like i'm like did you mean to do that like are you okay yeah yeah kind of thing but they're like yeah no you're and i'm like no i'm not that uh, just wait give it yeah, time yeah. um <laughs> have but, you tried do they still have match i think they do that's where my mom met her husband oh god I so, hate it. so I guys you, were like, so bitter on, on i to match when you actually want to like really, really? yeah when you really want to like connect match. tinder was like back in 2014 i did plenty of fish tinder and okay. match right and even when i first joined the military in what 2007 2008 i tried e-harmony oh, oh boy e-harmony. with the guy with the nice doctor man dr neil warren dr. Neil? Like, oh, yeah he's all like i did it for valentine's day i was like i gotta put a date in this fucking area like it was terrible but isn't that more like marriage that was more track? marriage like I that think was so. that, yeah. that, that is what you match. paid for so yeah. for me match i was like well if i'm paying for it then obviously they're gonna be good right and i was very communicative right where if there was guys that just weren't like we could not carry on conversation and they did not even look just remotely what I talk. like at all, then I would just be very honest and say, "Hey, you're not really what I'm looking for, but I just I just wanted to be honest with you. I wish you the best of luck mm-hmm. with your future endeavors." And they'd be like, "Fuck you, fucking bitch!" Uh, yeah. just go <laughs> immediately, off on me. like immediately. immediately go off on me. Yeah. Like, oh, you think you're too fucking good for me? And I'm like, dude, I'm being honest with you. I'm not trying to lead you on here, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so then there like was nightmare. Plenty yeah. of fish <laughs> where there was a ton of creepy dudes on there. Ton a ton where one of them that I went on a date with who was like a computer nerd who didn't look anything like his pictures put a fucking uh what do you call it tracking device no he put oh a God. fucking uh what do you call it a virus on my phone he texted me a virus and when you open up the text message it fucking uh, like made my, phone up? disabled my because phone because you rejected him because i after the first date i just said like hey i'm not really feeling it but i wish you the best of luck and then he sent me a fucking virus yeah wow so plenty of fish guys were fucking creepy so tinder yeah was like the only one where they were seemed kind of normal and but still didn't but want they're to all, like get married right, right. Away. and they're all yeah. tired of dating and they all say the same thing i right. mean but those were like those were i mean this was also back in 14 so this yeah. was six years ago i don't think much so. has changed it's 
it's still like a free for all out yeah. there. Yeah, I sure. mean, yeah. it, if anything, it was entertaining and fun too. Like yeah. I remember when my mom came to visit me, and my mom was swiping with me. She's like, "Ooh, hot." Yeah, hot. who's this Ooh, guy? No. Yeah, Ooh, hot. And like, oh, I used to I, get on my friends. And my mom grinder. and I went on a Tinder date together. Grinder was so that. Fun. I want, and so that's like, the one yes. I didn't know. So Grindr's Grindr. the gay one, but yeah. you, oh, I would just get on just my friends. So I used to live like with this gay guy, and it was the most fun because they are so, they're just like they're they so literally yeah. are so open about it's Tinder. Good I think them. was the answer to Grinder for mm-hmm. straight people, right? Where it was like you can see how far someone is away, mm-hmm. and but the profiles on Grind- Grinder were just so much more like top fucking down for whatever da, 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 and then you just like find out how close they are you either meet up for sex right then or yeah. not or whatever like see that's the thing is that I, and it was very just like so fun tinder for me was for dating yeah i had the only one night stand i've ever had in my life which is like from a guy like i just met that night was from tinder but i was also like it was like 27th birthday type of thing where i was just like i want to fuck someone that yeah I don't even you know just have tonight. moods yeah. like i'm either gonna go home and oh, get pizza and picked, like, or i'm gonna have fuck a stranger this guy like went downtown for hours trying to get me off when yeah. I was drunk and I was like good for you man and he called me a cab in the morning I was like you're so <laughs> sweet good for you, my man. favorite thing in the world to do is so they'll, they'll be like oh are you a squirter I'm like sure I can be if it's right. done right and then they yeah. just try, try really 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 oh, hard nice. and you're just like eh, all right whatever I'm That's not but thanks idea. good job that- I'm never gonna be able to use that again now but you know whatever. yeah yeah like they'll find out that you are <laughs> or they yeah, just don't listen to know. podcasts it's fine I'm gonna tell yeah, my husband yeah. hey I'm I, I think I might past. be able to. Yeah. The other day I actually, squirted. <laughs> actually, I feel bad. because In cause quarantine, with, I've learned how to do this, so please I mean, try. Because no. with him, Chris is always like, let me. And I'm like, no, I'm not in the mood today. Like, So he's always asking. Yeah. So I, I but can't it's, give You have to, to be that. a whole Why mood to like that? have that. So it's like Tinder dates, it's usually just banging. Like if a guy goes down on me, like it's like that's a very intimate experience. Very intimate. So it has to be and more of like a mind connection correct. too. It's very I, mental, I think. I feel like I'm letting someone in to me personally. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm letting you see me and every in a way that i don't know why you find this attractive but okay but i guess you there has to be a lot of trust there yeah so for me yeah in order to let that happen i either had to be like super wasted and not give a fuck yeah him probably be blacked out anyway or have a very close relationship and be like okay i think i can do this yeah exactly because and we're on the next level now. I think that's why people, the fake intimacy thing is so real. And that's why they just try so hard to get into that. Like, oh, no, we're super close now. Let's fuck. And so I appreciate people that being like, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I went over to this guy's house. He made me dinner uh, that he caught this fish himself because he's, like, super manly. And, like, he has houses, like, on the coastline. He does fishing charters. That's and he has, like, cool. a tree it. service. Like, he's very, very. It's um, hot. Like, a hey, tree service? A tree service. I got this dinner I, for I, I, oh my God. Da- I keep dating people that, like, are like have skills that Good. I kind of need like, uh, like doctors lawyers perfect um, and then drug like, dealers drug dealers absolutely uh, like who doesn't need that skill you're doing it right doing and it's right. just like if I don't have to pay for anything ever again like yeah. I'm just like can you just take my temperature and then maybe my blood work and then we'll have sex take my temperature yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like do I have COVID <laughs> yes or no yeah like can you just look at me is that like part of this whole deal um, but like they're they're very much not on social media they're very unaware and uninterested in what I do they don't give a fuck about who I am on yeah, camera yeah, yeah. Or like what I'm doing that way they're just like oh it's great I think it's wonderful what you that's Sh- so sure, fantastic. I have an actual job. So yeah, I don't like really I'm care kind about, of employed, yeah. so that's <laughs> yeah, neat. Yeah. Like, and so when I tell them about my problems, they're just like, "Uh huh." So you didn't get the engagement that you wanted on a po- what? Okay, so that's well, the only someone hard died part. in my OR the other day, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's the only <laughs> weird part is because my husband hates social media, yeah. so like we're in very different worlds. But I like that he's not on it, and I don't have to worry about. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then the same it's hard time, to explain what your hard to explain. job is because yeah. they're just like, "That's not a job," and you're like, "Dude, it actually takes up." Way too much time, Correct. way too much brain energy, uh-huh. way too much bullshit. Or when I'm posting or commenting or making videos, he's like, you've been on your phone for like half the day. And I'm like, oh, it's a job. Did you yeah, that's what Love- I do for a living. Did you watch Love is Blind? <laughs> yes. They're having like a G- G- Gianna, who is it? Yeah, yeah. Gianna, G. Is it? Yeah. yeah. G- Giannina. Giannina, sorry. Yeah, but sorry. Gigi. I don't know yeah. why yeah. I remember that remember part. His, yeah. her, that was their big fucking fight. And she was like, this was is my fucking media? job. Because she is like. You, but was it like though? Because I know Lauren and um, what's his name? That was her actual job, but she's yeah. more she like of an marketing. old school like oh. marketing PR, and where she was yeah. like Giannina was like full on like I take, I like, you know, she had take endorsements and she had photos like, of her. Yeah. In, she's like holistic and she does all that like wellness something. stuff. Too. Oh, I used to yeah. that all day long because she was a drama queen on that show. She drama, made but he was also yeah. like, dude. Everything was quoted perfectly. It was well thought out. It was just. 
It was it, fake. It was scripted. <laughs> I think it was preparing us for quarantine because now we can't touch each other and shit. So there's just like, <laughs> yeah. you're just going to have to date through a wall. And that's yeah, it. it was but perfect. meanwhile, I'm over here like, hey. Yeah. Hey, fuck it's you, Corona. Fine. Yeah. And like the people that I would meet like through those like situations where like, hey, come over Netflix and chill. It's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Like you yeah. do something. You can show me that you have skills where I should like, you know, and you have a Ooh, home. I like that. So now they need to be more creative in that they're like, hey, since we can't go out to a restaurant, mm-hmm. I'm going to make you dinner. It's going to be like a nice thing yeah, at my house. It was house. really nice. Like I'm like the music was too loud, but I also hate the sound of people chewing. Sure. It drives me insane. I mean, point, I like, think that's anyone. I though. literally I don't have dinner like with my dad anymore because he's just he's almost 70. doesn't give a fuck. And so he's oh, like, so he's a chewing? free range eater. So like in quarantine, he's been home. He hasn't been traveling at all. Just like circling around and just eating the entire time and then I'll, I brought home Krispy Kreme donuts one morning oh after my God, one, my, one of my one of my escapades and he's like shoving food in his mouth like, blah, blah, blah. I was like Jesus Christ and I like went off so I was like I need to like be alone and not around people doing weird shit and so then this guy's like yeah I'll make dinner and he had music blaring already I was like thank God Cause like I'm a little bit weird. I'm I don't like overhead lighting. I don't like I have to sleep in complete darkness, and there Me has too. to be sound like a oh, light you have noise. That sound? Yeah, oh, I like the I rain noises, and it's the LeBron James extended mix on the Calm app. It's fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm like weird as fuck. I can't do noise. Like that. And Laura Dern will read noise. me stories before I go to bed. So I am like I'm so, used to being alone. So yeah. like when I do go over to people's house, it's just too much. So I I get where it's overwhelming sometimes. So <laughs> after the sponsors, we'll get into. If you do want to settle down, Ooh. yeah, we'll get to that. Stay tuned. But <laughs> parts of these that you're going to be willing, yes. you know, I think we should also get into also is um, the broette girls on the private page were talking about their strange fetishes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yes, that's a good one. And I've run into a few of them. I yeah. need to get into this because there's a lot of definitions that I look up that I was like, oh, I. I actually, I'm into that. But I had no idea what it was called. I, everything oh, has a name yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything yep. has a name now. So I'm curious. I'm gonna name off some of the stuff that people were talking about for their like fetishes. Yeah. And let's we can we can and it's let's say we'll be open and honest and say yeah. if we're into, into it, or, it not. or not into it. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be perfect. We need little mm-hmm. cards. <laughs> yeah, just say into <laughs> it, not into it. Maybe yeah. if a I'm shameful drunk. one. Like, be like, I'm like, sorry. Alan. Yeah, we need to have a yeah. maybe if I'm drunk one. <laughs> I'm All feeling right. it right now. First up, we have ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Um, have we bought, brought you into our ghost bed drama yet? I have not. Oh, yeah, so I've, you have a- I've slept on a ghost bed, but I don't know. If- You're sleeping on one at the bitch house, yeah. right? The bitch house. Yeah, very comfortable. <laughs> and uh, right now during quarantine, they're doing 25% off until this shit ends. So 25% know, off everything right? plus two free pillows. I need pillows. Plus you, the pillows are they, a they good have three different gateway. Types of pillows. Yeah. Drug, which yeah. Are I, I have awesome. to build a pillow for around me and I need oh. to like pretend I have a boyfriend but it's they have the memory foam pillows Ooh. and then like the hotel fluffy fluffy down pillows yes yeah sold yeah. absolutely it's amazing awesome. and they have sheets that are like amazing super soft yeah like, I have to be cold count. when I'm sleeping yeah so and they and have like, yeah. like cooling no. pillows cooling mattresses yeah, done so you're done and yeah. they have 36 pay 36 month pay as you go program which is like you can pay 40 bucks today and be have your have your whole bed sheets. I can have like a okay. new MTV crib set up. Like, yeah. this is where the magic happens. Dude, for, pennies. <laughs> for pennies. For pennies. The black light. Yes. Go to drinking oh bros. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Um, next up, we have strikeforceenergy.com. You know about the strike Hell force. Hell yeah. yeah. I had you've some been this on morning. The show. Yeah, you've been it's on delicious. the show. It's delicious. At oh, the yeah. bitch Pump. house. At the bitch house. It's like fucking branded out there. I love it. Oh, yeah. I just have like a whole brand house. It's like, hey, guys, there. stuff from well, 2018 first, yeah. and then also strike force. Yeah. yeah. That was the first time that I had uh, strike, strike force. force. And I, I remember putting in like the pump and I'm like, this is a lot. The pump is cool. I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, uh-oh. The yeah. pump is like a lot, but that's, you can it regulate. Perfect, yeah, yeah. You can regulate. If it's you like, do, like a tiny it's bit. It's perfect. Yes. Um, so strike force energy is clean, long lasting energy in liquid form, which means it will mix with anything. Probably uh, I should put some in this. It would actually be really good in this. The lemon in a margarita, like a power margarita Try it for so that you can drink yeah. all day. Yeah, you got to power through it. So strike force energy dot com. Put in promo code lady boner. Did, Did you, you just, just take, take a, a shot? shot by yourself? Yeah. Love it. I'm yes. Crying. Post crying. Malone. So That's what happens Post when Malone you don't share. It. You're going to cry. Yeah, always, always crying. <laughs> Always, always, always crying. The first one. <laughs> always always crying. 
I, and I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a hot plague summer, so we don't have the sad boys summer anymore. It's just hot plague summer. Oh, hot shut plague. Your yep. mouth yep. up. Oh my gosh. Well, things are it getting is be hot plague summer. <laughs> well, I think people <laughs> are over it. Up, like fucking. I think people. We can were make it cool sexy. It. Covered up, but sexy. People were cool with it before it got nice out, mm-hmm. and now people are like, "All right, dude." They went nuts. We're fucking over this. When I it was still, raining, everyone's out when right it now. was whatever, like, dude, people were like, out. "All right, we'll stay in. We'll do this shit. We'll play your fucking game." And I think now that it's just like fucking gorgeous yeah. and we're tired of it, we're just like, this isn't fucking flu Dude, season no. anymore. No. Like, what are you talking and about? And Dr. Fouch, you guys are talking about it. It's Fouch. like, you've taken my birthday, March 22nd, away from me. You've taken the tournament, oh March Madness. They took taken away St. Patrick's away. Day. The draft. You've taken Cinco the fucking draft. You take it, You will not first. take Cinco de Mayo away from me. We, yeah. I will be out. I don't know where. Roman, if you see any fucking sombreros, like, we're going to do something. Absolutely. Well, I'll say this. Some guy posted a video in New York, and I guess everyone was in some park in New mm-hmm. York like oh yeah tons of people and he started yelling at the top of his lungs are you guys fucking kidding me we're supposed to be social distancing and everyone looked at him like he had a dick run on his forehead because they were like and and, and? it's it's my god-given right I feel like to be a dumb bitch sometimes and if I want to go and do whatever I need to do as long as I'm being safe and I'm not compromising anybody around me I'm gonna do it it's and our right to take care of ourselves and that's mm-hmm. the same with like people opening their small business which they are doing now and just they being are. like listen if you want to close down my business, you're going to have to send me paperwork. You're going to have to send a fucking cop here. You're going to have yep. to like drag me out, which they will do. Yeah, but the will. fact that they're like making them do it, I think we're just at that point. And mm-hmm. so Godspeed, everybody. Take care of yourself, whatever that means. Be safe no matter what. Like just be, be smart. Like don't put yourself, don't like, and that's like the whole online dating shit. It's like just don't put out all your personal information. Don't link your Instagram. Don't link your Spotify. Don't tell people like, what your favorite color, what your like dog's name totally. is. And like, like people can still find out your information. Don't tell them your mom's maiden name. Like, yeah. All those like, things that are filling like, out those surveys. Like, Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. The very your security questions. Obvious. Don't tell them what your first car was. <laughs> questions. And maybe like use, um, a napkin. If you go to the gas station mm-hmm. to use in the pump, like yeah. I do. Yeah. Just really, just, just all the things that safe. we should have been doing. Be which clean. Is, like, like yeah, is it like really that hard for us to be clean? Hands, so yeah, people, like, like you get yeah. to that point and you're like, all right, like I'm already out here doing this anyways, but I don't want to be bored. That's the one thing I can't stand. I work hard enough as it is. I'm doing things t- probably 24 seven. I don't know about you guys, but the sleep schedule during quarantine, I like have like a medieval, like I'll sleep for a few hours and I wake up and Same. then I'm like, all right, time and to that's create why things. I fucking take strike force because it keeps me awake. Strike yeah. force keeps you up through. Power through it. Yes. Weird, like weird sleeping patterns now in the quarantine Mm. next up i need to talk about i don't even know if they're sponsoring this show but (laughs) i have to talk about them is a function of beauty have you have you gotten yours yet no but i love them it's on the way yeah the braids will be out and then like the the function of beauty will be anyway it's I picked my shampoo and conditioner blend based upon my hairstyle. I designed my bottles. I named it after me. I named it Tiffers. Function of Tiffers. I picked the fragrance. Like, how could you not love it? And for a very reasonable price at at a monthly rate. Like, are you kidding? Yeah. I love it. It's uh, go to function of beauty, function of beauty dot com slash B T E. Um, for twenty percent off your first order. So That's legit. I, like I've said before, I don't like to brag about how oily and thin my <laughs> hair is, but I have to do it I'm for jealous. this. So like, very like I'm not that person that's like, oh, you didn't. Wa- you have to wash your hair every day. It has to be like a volume, so it doesn't whatever. Like, yep. but then that dries out your hair, and you dye your hair blonde, so it's super dry. So when I put in to function of beauty, like it, it was basically like a challenge. When I was like, okay, cool, I have oily hair. I have very thin yeah. hair. I want it to be Same. bouncy. I want it to be shiny. Like yep. if you say shiny, it means that it's going to be like weighed down and gross, whatever. That's so what I was I like, go right. ahead. This shit is fucking everything of the sort. Like it is exactly what you wanted it to be. It's like my hair is like feels back to it life. It looks good. It's light. I mean, it's not like super voluminous, but I don't have any product in it. Yeah. So it's like this is literally just like putting in shampoo and conditioner, curling it up a little bit, and like I'm just in love with it. I don't know. The thing. What's your like, scent? Like I have to like. I you she got peach, but I did like I got a lavender. Mild. I was gonna say I feel like you would be rose, but maybe it was just like the jacket oh, throwing me off. I do. I mean, like that, like, like a little they rose. Didn't have rose, but I do like rose. But lavender, yeah. the lighter. You Lavender's got peach. perfect. I got peach. peach, but I got it a light scent, so you can do like light scent, medium, okay. or like full scent. It can Correct. really, really right. like to smell stuff. That's what I'm saying. There's so many options. 
So I equate it to like using box color where like if somebody if it, on the box it says that your hair needs to get a certain like or even just shampoo if it says mm-hmm. volume like it means that it needs to give volume to every single type of hair right yep. mm-hmm. so it needs to be like if someone has like the grossest like whatever it still needs to give Thinnest them volume hair, yeah. therefore yeah. it's going to destroy your hair make it fucking dry if you only need a little bit right, right. so customizable shampoo conditioner and products is the fucking wave of the future i can't even I believe i that's fucking amazing never. i didn't know that that like yeah, that was again, a thing and the like coolest part doing too this show but i have to talk about it is that they like you had an option to pick silicone free or not okay and i know they have like they have they have the options paraben free sulfate free all that so but also silicone mm-hmm. like we everything have to yeah, like not, not that we have to stay away no. from that, not that this we is ever totally would. not i totally have extensions in my hair my hair is totally down to my tram stamp yeah 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 but to make it I don't thicker. know. It's, but it's, it's, well, and like, it's I look beneficial like, for that because I'm told to stay away from all those things. Yeah. So it was great that I had that option to pick that. That yeah. I was like, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I was oh, just like, yeah. So I was like looking like Gary Busey for a while with my hair. Like I didn't have my extensions in, but I got new ones. So I'm like, I can do this. And I looked like I wake, woke up and my hair is dry because it's bleached. Yep. And then it's like just sticking out. And I'm like, I yep. look like I'm going to mug somebody or just like have a mental breakdown. And it's not fun. Like quarantine hair doesn't have to be gross. Like you can yeah. do things like even though my nails aren't done, it's because I made a promise to myself. No press on nails. But yeah. it's like it, it's a lifestyle change right now that a lot of people aren't used to. But if you have a product like that, that can easily just improve everything just from the showering. So this is the kind of shit that like when you know, when you take your extensions out mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, my God, I just want my hair to feel like I want to like t- make it healthy for a little yeah. bit without the extensions. Even if you can last, I can last a week without really? extensions. Really? I know. I call it my bald headed I don't see phase, anybody. And I just like run around, do whatever. But um, that's what this is. It's amazing. I don't know what's happening with my hair. But function of beauty <laughs> dot com slash BTE. You have your 20% extensions out? Off. Do I have them what? You have them out? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your hair looks very Jennifer Aniston today. It does. Very Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Yeah. Which well, she has this like, like hair, friends. So yeah. This is only function of beauty and curling. So like I didn't That's crazy. use any product, which is weird, but I was just. I hey, don't if know. it works for thin and oily, mine's thin and oily and balding. Same. So I was just like, Same. Same. I can't and wait colored. for that little patch to like get bigger. And I'm like, hey, do guys, you not see my hairline? <laughs> like, Post Malone hairline. You did it for the show. I it's did. fine. So what should we get into <laughs> first? We'll get into. Let's well, get into I'm fetishes. Kinda, yeah, I was like, I was really interested in the fact that you guys are talking about these private fetish mm. things that they're like. Let's do it. Let's get yeah. into it. Okay, so I have it right here. Oof. I was reading them the ready? other night, and so I was I like, right here. Are you like, okay. Okay, so first of all, the number one w- fetish that I read that a lot of these girls are saying is CNC. Have you guys heard of CNC before? No. Absolutely oh, not. Have you? Oh. No. Okay. So I had to look this up, right? Not CDC. No, no, no. Okay. CNC. And CNC stands for consensual non-consent. Mm. Which means okay. that you are close to this is essentially you're close to a total power exchange, which means that one person, which is the bottom, is giving all the power to the top position. Okay. So it can be really fun and provide a huge release for partners. Um, but basically it looks as if like one's dominating over the other and like doing stuff to that person they don't want to be done, but they really in turn want oh, yeah, to be too. done. Yeah. And I was like, that's like that's all I, I like. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. So I had no idea that that was a kink number one. But or I it guess, had a name. Like I didn't know. That or that I was had there. no idea that was a name. Do you know what DP I is? They all were double penetration. Yeah. TP. Triple penetration. Mm-hmm. Triple. I'm just doing so like I, guessing. There. So, yeah, no, no, so, I like, I TP? Look, so I had to look those up okay. last night. All right. Either you guys are into any of those double penetration, um, double or penetration maybe, but not triple with another guy or with the toy. Uh, toy. Same. Okay. Yeah, I've done two guys uh, that happen to be roommates. They were booty really? calling me. Yeah. They were, it was college. They were booty calling me at the same time. And I was Love like, it. two birds, one stone. And I smoked a giant blunt before, of course. And I'm like, this is fun. Um, and the one gave up because I was clearly favoring one. And I was just yeah. like, eh. but it's not something that I'm like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Like sure. threesomes to me, like two chicks and a guy, that's fine. But like you never really ends up well anyways. There's always like that weird thing to me. Like I'm so weird about like planning things. I'm like, OK, so what do we do when we're done? Are they just going to leave? Oh. Are they just going to like I guess they're get yeah, out of it? Because yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, you don't want to see that. Like I think little Wayne said, like, as soon as I come, I come to my senses. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, but for real, though. But like a lot though. of guys, like after seeing grandma porn, what a guy's willing to do to bust a nut, I'm like, shit. 
Well, yeah, and then, he, then he wakes up after And then it. you have that like realization like I feel Tiffany. gross or there's yeah. shame or there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I feel gross. I was like, uh so I've seen people like looking for unicorns on Tinder that are Yeah, a, she was telling me about this. Yeah, so know. there's like couples that like want to that. have it. Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But it's like my body type finally came back in style, which is nice, but they think it's like, ooh, we have this like blonde egg. It's called a pog, like fat ass white girl. Mm. And it's like a whole thing on yeah, there's a whole thing where <laughs> like like these like skinny little like white dudes are like, Oh yeah, this chick with a big fat ass, I'm totally into it. So these unicorn couples see me and they're like, Oh, she has to be down with some weird shit. I don't know why, because I used to have purple hair, but like I'm very like normal looking ish now. And so they'll be like, Just come on vacation with us, we'll cook you dinner, come to our boat and our lake house for the weekend, and you become part of a couple you're talking about the Lake of the Ozarks? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we say. don't need a fucking show called Ozarks to tell us what goes on yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. Like, we say, understand I, Party I, Cove every and time everything else. I was at Lake of the Ozarks or Party Cove, shit always went down. Yeah, so. I got robbed last summer at Party Cove, so that was really fun. Uh, pirates that were just like fucking weird ass lake pirates, they were Coke dealers that were like running from the cops. And they jumped Dude, on our so friend's boat and they're like, there. yeah, we know so-and-so. And they so would just much. look up the boat license shit. It's crazy. So yeah, Ozark's crazy place on Netflix and also off Netflix. Correct. Okay. But yeah, like you just That's see these I people. That's why I love watching it on Netflix. Oh God. And you like, you know, related to you it, yeah. know the situation. So yeah. yeah, these people like they want to basically, but it feels weird because it's like you're almost like getting a adopted but you're having sex with them so i was like it's funny and it's flattering of course but i'm like i'm not looking for that situation yeah, yeah. i don't have the time and energy to like date two people like in you the just same don't place. want to be like, controlled in any yeah, way yeah that's that the too. weird thing is the one threesome that i ever had with that guy and the girl because mm-hmm. they were a couple yeah. already and like that we just kind of all we were like really good friends in yeah. high school and then we all hung out in college it was chill after like we all we were drinking still we ate dinner to get like a late midnight snack we hung out i spent the night there yeah that's Weird. fun though that's relaxed and we like... stayed really good friends still to this day Weird. yeah i know but that, i can see that but i think that's also why it worked out so well because mm-hmm. we're all really really good friends and we're kind you're of we're comfortable drinking a little bit and like, like we kind of did it. some yeah. stuff and it was just yeah. like you're like the most attractive Are girl i've ever seen together? in my life yeah i told you they're still married and they oh, have yeah. a few kids she's that, the one on the way but right that's now. the shit though like people that are like the the biggest freaks have the most like put together solid lives that you'll ever see that's what i'm saying and it's it's amazing so this this stuff like we're cnc or whatever it's like yeah they're both yeah the most reserved people their parents go to church yeah She's like the most gorgeous girl in the world, naturally. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Well, you and oh, your hot yeah, yeah. friends, like, I, I, what? I know. How do you know all these? People? <laughs> How do you know yeah. naturally beautiful people everywhere? Yeah, she is. <laughs> okay, the next one. Uh, have you guys heard of pussy jobs? Is it mm. you don't? It's not penetration. It's she, like she said specifically getting yourself off multiple times, so and then just... teasing your guy before you let him finish. So does Wait, he ever? What? Is he within you? At, like, I don't or know. is he just she watching? That's all she said. I'm assuming that it's like him getting you off or you getting yourself off and him watching multiple times. Okay. I'm oh, guessing. Okay. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> really? You don't have a toy that gets you off? Like I a do, million but like I also, I'm, I'm really like, I'm so, cause like my sex life is not with the same person. Like if I was with the same person yeah, yeah. over and over again, and like if it's like, like, I'm totally comfortable with those people, but I have to get to that comfortable point. Yeah. And so sex toys, I feel like if you like the most intimidating thing in the world is like a guy just opens up a drawer, like, which one do you want? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ah, what yeah. the fuck is this? Can you get off without a sex toy though? Absolutely. Can you get, I get off? off like walking by Can you something? Get off it's having horrible. Sex? Yeah. Okay. Like I, my problem is that like I'm turned on all the time. So like a guy that like needs a flashlight and then like a doll and then like a video and then like a finger in his ass, too much work. Yeah. Like I've, I've literally broken up with guys cause they're like, um, yeah, this isn't working. I'm like, wait, so me fully naked doing whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Isn't working. Isn't you need working. me to shove something like in you too. Yeah, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. do like this weird maneuver. And I'm like, if it's, if you- and it's not that I shame that at all. Like I just don't want to like have to go wash my fucking hands like yeah. i'm good like i don't need to be doing all that stuff or you just but don't want to feel like you're not like enough, enough. yeah also. it's a very much Where a mental like, thing too. try other things be fun but I, you have to also they have to yeah. be able to get off like with you yeah and it's super too. hot when a guy's just like oh my god you're so fucking gorgeous like in the right setting sure Where's here's the thing though mutual? is not all girls can just get off having sex like okay. i know a That's lot of girls true. that mm-hmm. either they either get off having sex or they can only get off having clitoral stimulation. Right. And yeah. I'm the type of girl who can only get off 
as of right now that I know <laughs> clitorally. Yeah. Right? Like, that's it. Yeah. So, like, there's, don't get me wrong, there's been a bajillion guys out there who's like, oh, I got I'll this. Be the one yeah, they always yeah. say that. They're like, yeah, yeah. no, you just haven't had the right one. Correct. Like, oh, girl. Not true, but that's what happens. So, it's either a mouth, well, a you know finger. yourself. It's a mouth or a yeah. finger or a toy. So, traditionally, there's either one of those that's involved somewhere. Because if mm-hmm. not, I'm not getting off. I know for a fact that if I consume too much alcohol, too, no matter what that guy does to me, however long he's going downtown, yep. it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. So for me, like, I just set that up straight in the beginning. Like, hey, this is who I am. This is what you're dealing you should, with. You should, yeah. And but, like, how do, a DP to me is, like, two dicks. But, like, if it's a toy, absolutely. Like, yeah, if correct. that's considered DP, though, that's why I'm just confused. About. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. In that case. Well, and that's the thing, too, is, like, and one thing I've noticed even about myself is that whether whatever penetration it is, whether anally or internally or whatever, even though I'm still getting off with, with my clitoris, like it's more intense and quicker mm-hmm. with that. But that's just me personally. So that's what I mean. So I think Pussy Jobs is like her okay. getting herself off of her or him getting himself off multiple times. That's like a power thing before too. Before yeah. he like it's, yeah. is allowed to even finish. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which I'll that's like say, edging, right? Like I'll just say even in some relationships, probably even mine right now, my husband tries to get me off at least twice before he comes. That's so nice of him though. Yeah. Most guys are like, oh, yeah, I'm done. No. Yeah, yeah. Because what he'll do is there's there'll be times where I'm about to. Yeah. Like, I'm climaxing. I'm like, dude, I'm about to get off. And he's like, I'm not ready yet. Just go, and we'll get you off again. And I'll be like, what? Like, yeah, you got your own personal pit crew right there. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but <laughs> a lot of times it's because I'm using a particular toy right. or something that I have. But it's some it's whatever works. Yeah, and you have time. to be in yeah. sync with that. And the, that's what I find weirdest about dating is, like, if you're in a relationship – you can just try whatever the hell you want Correct. to because you feel comfortable. Yeah. So I'm envious of that route because you feel it's like, like you it's your person. To, you almost need to start over every time. That's it's like, that okay, would be the hard part. Here's the thing. And then you have guys here's that are like want different things. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. yeah like, Whereas with him and I, yeah. like, and even with you and Ross, it's just one of those things where like you guys know each other, you guys know what each other yeah. likes, or if you guys want to try something new, it's like kind of whatever. Like yeah. what? But, like you fart doing reverse cowgirl, you're like, sorry. Whereas that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Whereas when you're dating, you're like, oh my, oh my God, God right? like my and life's like, over. That's it. Like, yeah. You have to have that comfortability, but like also the idea of like just trying to like, I don't know, change yourself to like meet like whatever they want. Um, I think it's really important to just like be honest about, hey, I'm going to want this, this and this. So if guys are like into feet or if they're into like yeah. whatever, just tell me. So we don't have to like be weird about like, oh, did you get a pedicure All lately? You're like gonna try and like right, suck my toes my out of nowhere. Up. Like yeah, where yeah. is this coming from? Just yeah. like tell that people what be, you yeah, want. Yeah, that's a little that's a little strange. Yeah, a little bit. This this is the this is the one. So this girl's biggest fantasy is a CNC, which is what we talked about before, right? Which mm-hmm. is consent, non-consent, like a home evasion style. Okay. And I know this sounds really strange, but even as a young teenager, like when I would take a shower, I would imagine being intruded while I was taking a shower. Right. And being kind of like made to have sex. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But liking it. And yeah. it's as weird as it sounds. I'm like, that was like my one thing as a teenager that I would just imagine. Yeah. Right? In the it's shower. It's adrenaline. Like, it's like, oh whatever. It's that you. Weird. It's pretty No, it's not weird at all. Like, yeah. like, if you go, like, I think I was on vacation a lot of the times, like, or I'd go somewhere, like, with my parents. They'd have to go do other stuff. And I would just be in a hotel by myself. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And then it's like hotel porn. I'm like, what's this? Yeah. It's like $25, but whatever. Let's okay. just see what it is. You don't know and it was, back in the day. Yeah. And like I'm like, is, this is what people do. Okay. They're dressed in like fairy outfits and just humping each other. Like, yeah. all right, whatever. But like you, it's always that sense of like, it's the energy rush. And I think that's why like the first time and like that, like the first two weeks of talking to somebody is so fun because yes. you're getting to know each other. And then it's I like, okay. So too. And then you have the mystery. You figure it out. Right. Everything else. When the mystery disappears, a lot of people check out. So that's what I think happens a lot of times, especially quarantine wise. Like, what are you supposed to do? It would get old. Like, and and if a guy wouldn't take me out to begin with, I'd be like, you married? Yeah, exactly. Where's your family? Are they hiding somewhere? Yeah. Why can't we go out? So now it's like, oh, well, that's the norm. And I think guys are getting away with a lot more. Um, And women, too, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when I tell people like, no, I'm not looking for anything serious. I have my own house. I have my own job. I have my own life. I just, you know, don't really go out unless it's for work. 
they're like, oh, so you have to have a secret family or a husband or something. I'm like, no, I just no. like, but like, it's, it's cool to be that independent. But like I said, a lot of people can't handle that. So you have to find that balance. And like a guy that can come in and rough you up when you're like used to being the most in control person of your life, that's hot. That's hot yeah. as hell. Correct. And I think that's why I do like that is the fact that I'm, I feel like I always have to be in control. And that's yeah. one instance that I would not be in a sense, but it's a very hot guy trying to take advantage of me in a good way. Yeah, Because <laughs> exactly. like the way I want. Yeah. Right. Uh-oh. What's up? She's pointing. I know. She's pointing directly. This is terrifying. This chick said that she finds diapers <laughs> to be strangely comfortable. And a, okay. bunch of, and a bunch of other people were like, you would love my brother. Is Wait. he into it as well? You know this about your brother? This is this is not public knowledge, so shh, like right, people are saying. absolutely. So anyway, I you had would love my brother. Like, I how do you just know your brother is in into the diapers? Brat group secretly, but I had a a person who follows me on social media. Okay, hit me up because I made a funny video about quarantine. Right? Yeah. So I made a you video, made a few. I made a video. Guys, about I don't know couple, if you guys know yeah, this, a but in the you're fucking famous, right? <laughs> Suit. And uh, it was about the couple in the quarantine. It was like day 28 or something where I was like, oh my God, I can't believe you fucking didn't get toilet paper. I'm in a fucking diaper. And some guy wrote me about that and, and was like, the about boundaries his, about of his men. diaper yeah. fetish. The boundaries. He was being, to be fair, like he was being very trying to be respectful, but we he ended right. up talking people about with it. Dark fetishes are very respectful people most of the time. Right. Not dark, but just he was intense. trying to convince me that he was a normal person still outside of How all this. How do you do that? But and that he wet the bed for the longest time and yada yada yada. But that school. he liked wet the bed. Like, wearing, so mommy issues just flare up or something happened. Diapers and he was wondering if me and my husband did too because he just wanted to. So, so this is the like, thing. This is the thing. I was like, Ooh. what's the point of finding out? He was just going to, if she wrote back anything about, yeah, we're into it, he would have just gotten off like immediately. Exactly. So he was baiting her into like being and by part the way, of his fucking fantasy. He emailed me from an anonymous email, didn't tell me his name. Totally, and totally he already knew who I was. Like, so it was kind of like one of those things too, where it's like, you feel, you really expect me to like, trust I'm going to tell you fucking yeah. anything. That's not, and like, I, I when I'm like I have a social media presence like yeah you know what I mean? like in that but like if you, you ever go to your message requests on Instagram uh when I switch over to like a business account like the like weird requests would just go in this folder and I would never yes. see it and I didn't know about it yeah I have and that too. yeah uh it's a little bit intense the one that I ran into that was just super weird this guy wanted me to palm a basketball and I have the world's <laughs> smallest hands but I always have super long nails I right yeah yeah like I'm gonna start referring anyone that asked me just directly to you. To like me. Tiffany will like handle it. I got twenty it. bucks to palm a basketball, but I did a photo shoot with a women's <laughs> basketball. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. I had held it, but yeah. I'm like, this is clearly a child size. I, yeah, yeah. I have such small hands. You and do so have small hands. They're like, I have and long, I know. I was I have like, long I'm looking over. There's a Jesus Christ, Tiffany. <laughs> Fucking yeah. yeah. Okay, Jesse, you have to put up your hands too, oh, so really the small. people see small hands. Me fine. Like, like you could palm a like a real basketball. I can. I can. So, but there's niches Immense. for all that shit, and yeah. like it doesn't surprise me. Like shit, any you could pay that. me a hundred dollars to palm a basketball for men's stuff. I'll yeah, diapers. Yeah, slippery slope. Remember? I mean, like anybody <laughs> that's been had this, it, Tiffany, like, we like know the you are. <laughs> She's really trying to find a way to like. What if we just? What <laughs> is it? Of our feet? Like, what if I just sit on? I the took cake? a picture like, of no my foot deal. the other day. I did for do that guy? for the first time. Yes. Um, I have a girlfriend who I have a girlfriend that sells them? married and she has two kids and she had a guy who paid her for pictures of her feet and she said multiple guys I think asked her for pictures and she's one of the most like down the earth humble. Like chill chicks ever, which natural really beauty. Sick. Like, God damn it, yeah. What the fuck, no, like, like, Yeah, I mean, but I'm we get saying, it. Like, We're your ugly so friends. Funny. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Shit. that's it's just so funny though, because I, I like when she told me that I did not expect it from her. Yeah, but she's like, yeah, I did it, and my husband was okay with it. I was like, well, good for you guys. Whatever the fuck makes you like, money, but do it if you like. If you do something like that, do it with integrity. I've been around people that have like OnlyFans accounts, but they are yeah. asexual, so you can tell that everything they're doing is just like. I'm sticking another dildo in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah There's yeah, no enthusiasm. Yeah. Like, if you're uh, gonna be a porn star, be a fucking porn star. But like, I think we that, talked you know. to a porn star that was like said the sexiest thing that you can do just across the board is be enthusiastic about, about it. Whatever mm -hmm. you're doing, yes. whether it's like missionary, whether it's a blowjob, whatever. He goes, if you're, if you're sucking on that dick, it, that's the last dick in the world that literally is gonna like save your life by you sucking on it. And he's like, that's yeah. the most sexiest thing in the world. He's like, I don't care what yeah. your fucking technique is. Guys as are gross. Long as that matters. Just fucking spit everywhere and just don't even just think about dude, it. Dude, I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. 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 
Yep. Anytime that I've done it, it's because I wanted to do it, not because mm-hmm. I was forced to do it. Yeah, yeah. And he loved it. Yeah. My Even though I felt problem, like and this is like stupid my, doing my it. mother is going to be so proud of me right now. She oh my gosh, for Janet, this whole fucking podcast, turn this off. For sure. My dad listens. My to signature this, thing so. is be, it might just show my <laughs> intimacy issues. I have more often than not given somebody head before I've made out with them. Skip Straight up. to the fucking chase. Like I had my first kiss and first blowjob in the same day as a teenager. With so the same person? yeah, thank God. Oh no, I'm totally kissing. It. I'm a kissing person. I like, usually if, am, if but sometimes I'm like, you dude. just tell like it's oh. not there. So I'm just but like, sometimes let me mo- just suck your dick and like let's sometimes just get this in over with. When they just like go straight for it. Yeah, and I I'm guess. just one of those people that like if I know that this is dragging out too long, I'm like, all right, let me just do this because that's just who I am as a person. It's sure, just like, what's no, no, happen? no, no judgment. Oh like, no, good, absolutely actually, not. Good for you. But you need that like I'm the kissing person. Like where. If I kiss someone and they're an amazing kisser, we're going all oh, the way. That's it. But like once yeah. you find like, that great kisser, I know it's going to happen. But sometimes I'm just like, you're taking too long to make a fucking move. Let's to go. me, if it's an awkward kissing, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Like we're done. Yeah. You have down. to have that. If you're not a good kisser, like what are you, you going to be good at? Like nothing else is going to be fine. Yeah. And your dick probably smells and tastes like garbage. So. There you go. Trash dick. Yeah. Dang. We don't know. What? No, trash dick. We can go through it. Let's do a couple more. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear these. You're getting like worse in like ways that I'd never thought about. Yeah, I was like, exactly. this is amazing. Tentacle porn. Tentacle? This is good worse. What is this? This is good worse. Yeah. Um, Hentai? They're not like someone said talking about tentacle porn and so, someone also talking about anime, <laughs> por- anime porn. Yeah. Anime porn's pretty classic. It's hilarious. Yeah. Another person said hot wax, being submissive. I love pain inflicted on me. Okay. I love threesomes, BDSM, role plays, toys. The list goes on. And that to me is just like stuff that's like mildly out of the box, curious. Like I want to yeah. do like role playing stuff. Like I get that. Military sure. uniforms. Okay. Yeah. Uh a dominant man. Bondage. Oh, tentacle. Yeah, what you just completely like <laughs> skipped over what it was. Well, I was kind of reading it a little bit. She there was like weird anime. Oh, gif is it yeah, with yeah, them? like oh, hen- okay, it's, okay. so it's like, hentai. Okay, it's like, I just did a podcast about this. Like one of the podcasts that's on. on the network. Okay, was, like, wait, wait, talking about it. Hentai. It's waterboarding. With so what with j- waterboarding? Urine? Like literally waterboarding. It scares so many people. A lot of people think it's strange. I, on the other hand, absolutely freaking love it. Being asphyxiated and with water, basically. like literally, almost like being actual, drowned. like the same way. I was no. my- apparently Ted Kennedy loves this shit. What? Shocking. <laughs> a Kennedy? Tim. 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 What? what? the fuck that dude's name is? I what Ted Kennedy? No, it was like Ted Kennedy. Ted Kennedy. <laughs> I honestly God thought that you guys had a connection to Ted Kennedy we somehow. Do, we do. With, That's like, who we were talking about. That's like, who we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, no, Ted. Ted Kennedy. Can we just who talk about this that? real quick? He Ted. drowned a girl in a lake, so he might be into water. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too soon, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. No, it's okay. uh, absolutely. They're doing podcasts about yeah. it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing it's fine. Um, K- kidnapping? Kidnapping? Uh, no one would want to kidnap said, me, though. This I know said this. Kidnapping is fun too. Ever been snatched up in the middle of broad daylight in public, bound and gagged and brutally screwed? <gasps> no, no, I have not. But I famously said that I'm like in. I would be in theory into like bondage and the whole like mm-hmm. I like the like weird rope things. How they mm-hmm. like do these weird. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. It really is. And like looks kind of cool if they do tie it in the mm-hmm. exact right way and blah blah blah. But I've also said that it just kind of seems like it would take too much of my time. Like that seems like it would be a whole huge time fucking, commitment. Yeah, because like when da- like would Dame do it or whatever, they would like show the whole tying thing. It takes fucking forever. Ever. Yeah, uh, that's not that. Her washing, shit looks uncomfortable. Waxing though. the like getting everything ready, like all of that. It's just a a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say this other one's fisting. Mm-mm. 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 Um, in theory, a- like, I like porn. I, had a, watch I had a friend that got fisted, and she was like, "I felt weirdly into it." I'm like, "Okay, oh, I'll I don't think watch I could, it, but no. I won't do it." I don't I, think it would. I don't think I'd watch it either. Like, what are you I'm looking for up there? Alien like, porn. questions. I like creepy, gross monster aliens fucking an abducted human. Oh, uh, that's kind of like anime so, stuff. Yeah, right? like so, like kind of like fake. being at like not at risk, but like kind of being in like like. Not damsel in distress either, but just kind of like, yeah, being used and abused. Okay, how about this one? You like a train ran on you. No. Messy. Mm -mm. Very messy. The older I get, the less mess. I'm like, nope, nope, I'm good. Thanks. 
Um, people do like the dominatrix thing. I know yeah. one person said before that um, some of the porn that I like have dudes peeing on girls. And I'm into watching that. But I don't know if I'm into it in real life. No, I've always threatened boyfriends like I'm gonna pee on you, and then they never shower. Do you guys with me watch training porn at all? I have. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah, uh, I watch pretty vanilla, pretty basic. Do you watch what porn? Porn like amateur basic vanilla porn. Yeah, and like the, just like I told you, the one that I really like was Small Hands, and that yeah. fucking. <laughs> Dude, that's what, that's what I gotta yeah. watch my song. We put interviewed these down him. Now. He's got a big dick, though. Yeah. Like, uh, I think it's like he has a little bit of a sense of humor. I'm, I'm, yeah, he's yeah. he's very in touch, in tune with himself. But yeah. like him and another guy like did this chick, and it was like very hot. Yeah, I All like right. that. Okay, but so here's one. Like, yeah, basic knife. I've never heard this one before. Knife play. Yeah, I've heard of knife play. And what what you heard it's like it's like like threatening. knife play wax play stuff like that yeah it's like risking that like line of like do danger. you cut them at all i don't think you do okay um, really? but it's like the threat of it or the okay. like the pressure of it or like willing to give up like that close oh, of like okay, inch okay, of your okay. life yeah, kind of yeah, thing yeah, yeah. that's like you might as well jump off a building and also try to fuck at the same time oh. like that's kind of crazy like but well same time you have to really know somebody. you have to trust somebody this more than reminds me of Derek. Wada, because this one says, I was big into urethra play, <laughs> but giving that up with my new diagnosis of IC, which I don't know what IC stands for. Intercolitis or like the inner. Incompetence? Or no, it's like the colitis or something. I think it's like an intestine Is that thing. Yeah, because I oh, so, so good so news. Then. Yeah, because I got my gallbladder out. They're like, by the way, this might like ruin your life. And I'm like, will it? I can still eat wings. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they interstitial like, like, satiitis, which okay. is like a chronic bladder condition. Yeah, apparently, which makes reoccurring like discomfort or pain in the bladder surrounding the pelvic region. Like so UTI. Some, so some, some girl, people like, can like fucked in her urethra. Yeah, until and she had a pee problems. Like kidney yeah, it doesn't issues. seem right. Yeah, when it comes to like medical, what? No, don't put me in a hospital. I'm good. Yeah, like put me in a wheelchair. Don't put me in a hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang. Okay. <laughs> uh, anthro furry. Uh, I've heard furries. of furries, but what's anthro We've like? Heard of furry? I, feel like I don't it's know. I'll cultural look it up. furries. <laughs> but that's this. I think the weird. I mean, like most, like most of the time, I get like foot fetish guys that are like yeah, so yeah. what are your feet like and that they think that's like i don't get it at all i actually for don't one get second. the foot thing, the foot thing ever, but like i've actually can... joked with like my husband before about hey you want to give you a boob job or a hand job or a foot job and like none of it's understood me and throw when i looked it up on pornhub <laughs> is just starts blaring. it's a bunch of just anime okay like, okay so i mean furry stuff yeah. I've seen people with like weird dog heads and like animal like heads or whatever on, so this one woman's a huge fan of hands. <laughs> hands? I mean like that she likes visible knuckles and veins and hands and also okay. men with long thumbs and ends up like a turn on a bit. All right, we're getting a little bit specific. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, not like this is long like long thumbs. So long thumbs. Like, like all these like uh, that's don't incredible. get me wrong. There's some girls on here that are like, I'm vanilla as fuck, and there's other girls that are just like going on and on. Wait, what's and on. the sexiest part of a guy to you? I feel like if you could turn that into a fetish, then his taint, okay. Yeah. I like yeah. taint. No, love it. That's like that. No, love love it. It. Honestly, it's his personality and the way he makes me feel is the sexiest part of yeah. a guy. Yeah, absolutely. And but so like is the reason why I'm tall. fucking him. Yeah, tall. <laughs> Tall, yeah. but also tall, <laughs> but also his dick. <laughs> what the mouth? Let's do? be real, like that dick, like it's gotta Absolutely. be like not small, yeah, or and not mostly like working as a good start. And yeah. like, and you don't need to like have all. like eight different like circus acts to make it hard. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, biting hard, pegging. I would never peg my man. Oh, have you pegged? Have you? How is that? Uncomfortable. For yeah. you, because it changed my entire psyche, oh, your relation sure. to them. I'm like, wondering. you're such a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime that I know that I can have I like that like like upper hand, way. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking like, I'm just gonna walk all over you. And then, like sexy. after that, I was just like, it was not sexy. Yeah, like, there was nothing that I got out of it. I'm like, so that was good for you, okay? And Neat. did you have to do it all the time? No, okay. it was once, and I never did it again. And I'm like, I can't do so that. So what I don't understand is with that guy, like, how could he get off regularly if that's he can't. what he's fucking He can't. Into? So that's the thing. Like, they okay. have, like, this, like, mind game that they have mm. to go through. And so for me, the sexiest thing in the world is that I just turn you on. 
Right. And that's it. Like, we just don't need me. to have, like, a song and, and dance and, like, else, bring in other people. And, like, right. it's, it's an added bonus. Added bonus. Absolutely. It's anything like, else is, like, okay, And you cool. should have just saved shit for anniversaries. Like, when I was in a relationship, like, we'd try to do staycations and, like, do fun things like that. And, like, um, you know, like, when I was engaged, uh, he got way too close to my friends, which I think was the downfall of our relationship. Oh, sure. But, like, things like that, you're just like, okay, but how do you draw that line when you're trying to save something? Uh, okay. But if it's a healthy relationship, bring in whoever you want yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. It's just, like, you have to have a good foundation before you start, like, enveloping all this stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, God. Midget, midget porn. Midget, I'm terrified of midgets. Male you have midgets. seen it? It doesn't do it. So you know what's funny is that um, I know a guy who's, I mean, I guess he's essentially a midget. He's super in shape, very mm-hmm. nice guy, like one of the sweetest people that I know. And he has a crush on my friend. I won't say her name, but yeah. she's a social media personality. And he was like, dude, hook me up. Like, she seems fucking awesome. <laughs> he's, she's so amazing. And I hit her up and I said, hey, my buddy, and I, you know, sent a picture of her to him, of us two. And of course, like, you know, you can see how tall he is. She goes, I have a, like, I am deathly afraid of midgets. <laughs> really? Sup? I matched with one on Tinder. And I had no idea. I did match with a guy. Did you? Because my guy friends were fucking at the bar with me, and they're just like, whoa, yeah. you have to do this. You a have to fuck them, a midget. And I was yeah. like, I grew up in Kansas, Wizard of fucking Oz. Mi- munchkins and midgets. midgets are fucking terrifying correct yeah and it's I just never like it just was always weird to me and like they just have different features so when i was watching g and nina or yeah. whatever yeah. and that dude was shorter and she was always like i want a big strapping guy and this guy's shorter You're i was like, like oh you have midget features oh, yeah, and it yeah, freaks yeah. me out but that's just me yeah. I, I'm, I'm very much aware of like when people are 411 or like lower i'm like you're an actual midget yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's just too much too like much. To yeah. say that I'm very close to legal min- midget. <laughs> you're not though. No, I'm you're not. not. No, because you're, it's you're like, listen. My best it's five friend foot, is close. Right? Yeah, you're. Yeah, yeah. How tall are you? Five two. You're my not best even, friend no. is on her five foot. Like, yeah, is four under five. Is, like she's four 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 line. Yeah. I think yeah. she's actually classified as a midget. That's incredible. Charmaine is. <laughs> Yeah, but so all the incredible. rest of the other ones were like CNC, bondage, chain yeah. bondage, daddy, just like normal shit, baby you know. girl. And to me, like, I didn't find these as fetishes. I found these as just like normal role play, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, preferences or like things that you do with your significant other or spouse when things get bored. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think my yeah. biggest problem is like public sex. I get into trouble. Uh, like I'll just like be like yeah that's hot let's just go it'll be oh, fine. She likes that too. It has to be really dirty and this gross. Is a Missouri oh my god, this is a this is a fucking. <laughs> no. It has to be like, like I feel like, up, I feel like, like this is a Missouri room. thing. Uh, I got kicked out of multiple bars in college for a second. Because like the bathroom, Merrimack. So. Okay, so like the Merrimack River. Like yeah. we've gone floating on it before. My husband and I have fucked on like one of the islands. There. Absolutely. We fucked not at a truck stop. But it was like a rest stop. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Where like you have truck stop there though. Truck stop. No, it's not a truck stop. It's a rest stop. But they could stop there. Like there's you know. trucks there, right? <laughs> In the bathroom. You're supposed to help me. I'm just saying it's a You're flying J. Was it? Was it a flying J? What brand was it? No, there was yeah, yeah, no gas station there. Oh, oh, okay. it was. That's literally, a rest stop then. It's a rest yeah, stop. Yeah, we're sorry. Yeah. We were assuming. It's a rest stop. We can't stop. assume, Jesse. And J-Dub. you're in like bushes oh. at night. You're in the bushes. Right? In the bushes. Yeah. Well, not really in the bushes, but like you're hidden. You yeah. should be. Yeah. 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 We never did it in a public restroom, haven't you? In a public restroom? Mm. Yes. <laughs> not public, no, but like at a bar. At a bar. Not like, no, I don't know. Not yeah, like right. a government like, bathroom. We've done like, it, we've, yeah. That's like, what I mean. We've done it. Rest stop bathroom. We've done it on like, islands. We've done it on woods. We've done it in fucking, like we've done it in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Traditionally. That's like the best standing. part about being in a relationship though. You just go bang wherever. That's what I'm and, saying. Like, and there's been a few times where he was smart and put my vibrator in his my purse or his backpack that's and very we, smart and because traditionally when we do it like spontaneously it's him getting off but when he puts my shit in there i'm Absolutely. like oh, i love you oh my god you're so sweet because then i have my toy and we, exactly. we both can enjoy it so that's really about it where's the weirdest place you've had sex me yeah uh <gasps> Nowhere weird. <laughs> just say Damn it, Jada. Bathroom. We have to fix Bam. it. Um, Ferris wheel. I'll just give you that. Uh, oh, I've lifeguard, totally gone down to the yeah. Ferris wheel before. Ferris wheels. But the Santa Monica one? Mm. Oh, that's a fancy oh. Ferris wheel. There's lots I don't of know kids where around I was. There, so it was yeah. like a no, probably a state you fair. You can't it see what a girl's going down on the guy. I, no, I was at Cedar Point, I remember. Oh, they were, were you? closed. Yeah. 
See, I was with a really hot photographer guy because I did a modeling thing for them, and I was like, I'll totally, I'm drunk. I'll yeah, go down. yeah. Modeling career, half of it's like, do, am I gonna don't, blow this photographer? Here we go. You judge. Oh, she's judging. not judging. She's I'm not, not judging. That's just her face. I'm not judging. Uh, uh, let's. I get saw to, you go. Oh my god. No. Um. Mm-hmm. Let's get to. Do you <laughs> have? We're gonna get to once. the bro at. Yeah. Yes. Um. Of the day. And it's going to be somebody same as the drinking bros that just inspired you. It's a kind of weird uh, segue from what we were talking about. No, I can see that. Inspired you, um, that you look up to, that's gotten you where you are, can be mom, but, you know. My mom wasn't, like, ho-ish enough to, like, inspire my life, so. Oh, okay, okay, (laughs) sure, sure, sure. Just throw it out there. My mom's a saint, so it's, like, it's very, I think that, like, almost every single woman I've ever met like in some way, shape or form, if I've been friends with them, I've taken pieces of their mentality, of their mind. But like one of my really good friends, Ashley Hood, she was in the room with me when uh, I had my daughter, which was Aww. a very, very big moment because like it's just my mom and her. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she and I both had kids young. And so as they get older, we're like, we can't wait for this Amsterdam trip. Like we're like going to go bad moms all over Europe. But it's yeah. like something about those relationships where you can pick up after years and years and years. Yeah, yeah. Like honestly, all of my good friends are like that. They have to be in some way, shape or form understanding that I'm a kind of a giant like child when it comes to yeah. like my personal well, life. Well, you're a free spirit too. Right. Yeah, but yeah. I'm always going to have that like really intense work ethic. So my life is my work. But then when I derail and I decompress, like I'm going to go hard. And that's what a lot of people don't really understand. They're like, oh, so you go and then you switch back and forth. And I'm like, absolutely. And you have to. You have to have that release whatever of like getting it out of your system. But Ashley's always been a huge part of my life. I always look up to Erica Nardini too. Not like we're not friends or anything. She's the yeah. CEO of Barstool. I got to interview her uh, a couple years back and she's a token female whatever they, they people say left and right like they just hired her for a pr thing but um you know you see she's actually like she's the real deal yeah, yeah and yeah. she says fuck all the time she like shows up to meetings looking like a hobo which i am very proud that i do that all the time yeah right i mean i wouldn't say that anybody in her present company would ever no, no, look no. ridiculous no, no, in no, any way no, shape or form no, no, in a no. professional environment no, God, no. No. so i just i really relish anyone that's authentic And anyone that can truly be themselves and not be afraid of it. Yeah. Um, I work with a lot of great people. And it's like almost like before when I was in that women empowerment thing, like when I was in sports radio, all they wanted to do was like force that narrative of like, you like women. And like I I was interviewing mommy bloggers and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you really think your kids are this interesting? You have to start a blog. And I just couldn't like attach the two. So when I started meeting people that were just authentic and just real and just like carried themselves however they fucking wanted that's how I connect with people yeah and that's yeah. how I can really like resonate with people and like for a long time I would just try to pretend like oh no I'm great everything's wonderful and you skate over those issues that really make you who you are and that trauma that you go through to get to where you are and so I've worked with like a spiritual coach her name's Lily my whole family knows her we FaceTime all the time like we FaceTime down the beach yesterday and she's like oh my gosh this is so amazing I'm so happy for you but like you have people that just get you yeah. and when you don't have to explain yourself to somebody and like with Erica when we did the when the did the whole interview I DM'd her out of nowhere I'm like this is a fucking reach on Twitter yeah and you're the CEO of Barstool Sports but would there be any chance you want to do my podcast and she's like absolutely we'll set up a time she did within a day so I'm like a day this woman responded in a day to a DM from a stranger I love and she's a CEO of Barstool Sports so I find it really incredible when people say oh I'm just too busy and I'm like bitch no you're not I'm just not a priority yeah so I get it so when I respect people that are very 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 powerful that can do things and that take the time for little people too yeah yeah and the friends that have been there from Gracie inception to Gat into whatever the fuck I am now in Kansas City it's just like a caricature of a human at this point yeah. but like people that get you on that personal level and also on your public level I think that's that's it like fuck you just have yeah. to have your tribe I and I that. hate that word tribe but it's so no. like it's so true and I have yeah. people that are like none of my friends do what I do and I don't know if you guys have like but like you have your no. different areas but like they all respect it and you Correct. respect them and you all support each other. It doesn't have to be fucking empowerment because when I was in that female empowerment zone, they were just tearing me apart yeah. behind my back. It's yeah. not really empowerment. It seems like fake empowerment, but it's yes. really, they're tearing you down behind the scenes, but building you up in front of everyone else. Mm-hmm. And it's it for their own gain Correct. a little bit. They're doing it purposely just publicly. Absolutely. Correct. So I, I just give props to every female out there that just stays themselves and is, 
you know, if, if they have a dream that they're pursuing outside their normal job, that's great. You don't have to have a side hustle. Like this whole quarantine thing, everyone's like, you need to come out of this like fucking Van Gogh. And I'm like, well, no. I don't even know if he was alive during that time. Do your thing. But like, you need to come out of this like it's your come renaissance. I'm like, the only renaissance that I've had is like an awakening of like, I don't need someone by my side every day to yeah. feel good about like my life. So that's look, cool. In quarantine, if you want to perfect your Post Malone look. I want to learn how to twerk. If you want to drink Patron, like do whatever you fucking want to do. Yep. Right? Just do you. If you want to get do your you. hair done. Yeah, I'll fucking Definitely do whatever you want. Either. I need my nails Bitch. done. I'm like, I don't know <laughs> how much longer I can have these tiny ass hands. <laughs> it's embarrassing. That's how you do the the illusion is you I, have like, oh, okay, got it. Got so it, I'm like, it, I have the them. longer, like, I, I always have the like coffin nails that are long as hell. Oh, and okay, I'm like, okay, that's okay. my jam. So I'm always about that. But then it makes typing really difficult. But like without nails, it's made it difficult too. So yeah. damned if you do, damned if you don't. But like I, like I said, th- it's nothing quite like a female friendship where you're just you understand each other and there's no yeah. explanation needed. Like you don't have to say, yeah, I fucked a stranger last night and da, 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 because of who I am as a person. And you're like, guess what I did last night? Yeah, yeah. Like that's the kind of thing. And, and there's yeah, no, yeah. Judging. no judgment. Yeah. There's no, yeah. Yeah. there's like I judgment. Like I'm probably not going to do that, but damn good for yeah, you. But good yeah. For you. Yeah. Like, absolutely. That's not my thing. Live but vicariously. I love you if you can't, you. if you can't Correct. imagine it, just fucking live vicariously. Correct. Yeah. I love that shit. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That wasn't like a, like Drink a, like a <laughs> hell yes. Jesse. You got the bottle, like, oh, my God. You're, like, Post Malone after, like, Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. On the Super Bowl. All right, where can people find you? Um, Everywhere at Sprotsgat. Uh, Sprotsgat Don't add me on Facebook. That's weird, right? Like I mean, I think it is. Yeah, you, that's, like, the barrier. Like, Twitter, Sprotsgat, all of it. Facebook for me back in the day was a... (laughs) college thing yes you knew each other you added each other through a college email to me nowadays when people add me on facebook i'm like you're weird i went to community college i think just to get a facebook i'm not sure yeah yeah probably (laughs) but on roll i I need a facebook my college email after i left just to have a facebook (laughs) absolutely Uh, yeah and kcpn is the new network it's kansas city podcast network it's just a bunch of people talking shit about things that are going on in kansas city like uh we have one podcast called gutter sluts i like i love it and we have other podcasts we have like political we have news we have mostly sports but like my background sports but after i went off traditional am radio i was like there's so much more to life than sports and i'm like i need to talk about more of this stuff so it's been really cool getting to have everybody on board but it's just in the beginning and you know like quarantine projects don't have to be like over the top and ridiculous like maybe just brush your fucking teeth every day like that's a good start yeah yeah. you know and so like i am all about people improving themselves one tiny step at a time crush crush white strips right now while you can oh my god Right. Right. Up those like, fucking yeah. teeth while you're in quarantine. So fucking you know? I love it. <laughs> I loved having you. It was great. Yeah. Thank Super you guys so much. much. Um, will come you come on. back? No. We need to like, get not. into. Yes, you better. Nope. We're gonna drink I'm out. Together. Like I'm out. No. No. Listen, <laughs> we're gonna is Post you Malone gonna be here? No. Yes yeah. or no? Yes. Then that's why I will fucking. Like <laughs> I guess it'll be every time you come. Party, like, right, just like, just up. like, it's just blurry. Like I, I'm just gonna get used to seeing <laughs> yeah. this in a blur. Yeah. Just close your like eyes, what does like, Tiffany really look like? I set the standard for her today. Where now? Yeah, everything's downhill. Feed it. And what are you gonna do next week? Normal. You know, you just you can't do much more than that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I know. Wish Welcome. bars were open. God, I know, me too. Soon. Really. Soon. I would go out like Soon. this. We'll make our own bar. There we you go. Will. We're going to. Absolutely. All right, let's go party. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl.